Hi, YouTube. How you guys doing? Uh, we're very early today if you're watching this live. That's because uh, I just got... You guys want to hear this? I just got keys to my new house, which I am not in the new house right now. I There is nothing there. It is a completely empty building. Uh, but I will be moving in in the coming months, which will be a bit weird. I don't know how it's going to go with streaming. I'm going to probably stream every day. You're not really going to notice anything about it. Uh, but we're streaming early today, not because the new house... But actually because of, uh, I have dinner with the Twitchio at night, or uh, in the evening, exactly when stream starts. So this is a bit of an insane day, <laughs> to say the least. Getting your keys in the morning and then um, having dinner with the Twitchio in the evening. Bit of a strange uh, December 1st. Uh, so yeah. That's why I'm streaming early. I was, I came back and I was like, I'm, I'm in my room sitting in my chair before I would usually fucking wake up. I was like, might as well do an early stream as to like give you guys something to watch today to just chill. Um, <clears throat> don't, don't stop the streaming streak. Exactly. Uh, and we're going to be playing solo lethal company today. We're going to be doing, uh, trying to get as far as possible. I've been playing a little solo. We're going to be running the same mods as before. Let me actually, um, make a little comment for the mods. Uh, five inventory slots is a mod. Other mods. Let's let's make a list real quick. I'll I'll, I'll skip the dependencies this time because it's just making it confusion confusing. Uh, flashlight toggle. We're using flashlight toggle. Uh, we're using hotbar plus. Hotbar plus. <clears throat> We're using ship loot, which just tells you the ship loot. We're using faster item drop ship. Uh, and I think that's all. That's all. Okay, so that that is the thing. Uh, let me put that in the YouTube stream as well. Welcome. If you're watching this at, or uh, live right now and you usually can't watch streams, welcome. Uh, because obviously it's at a little different time than usual. I'm gonna put it right there. Boom! Save that. Ready to go. I think we did all notifications. Just gonna hop straight in. Uh, and see if we can go far. <clears throat> it's a little quiet for me. Why is it quiet? Maybe I'm just insane. I think it's just... Did I turn on the volume? Oh, I turned down the volume. Here we go. Okay. Uh, host... I'm gonna start a new game. I guess I'll just delete file number one. Sure. Here we go, baby. <clears throat> oh, here we are. So, we're gonna try and get as far as possible. That's the goal. Um, it's gonna be fun. I have been uh, playing a lot of solo. We're gonna buy a pro flashlight right off the bat. We're gonna buy a shovel right off the bat. We're not gonna play this like a little baby. We're gonna be beating up things left and right. I'm gonna be fighting the monsters as much as possible because I've really been enjoying playing like that. You die a lot more than usual, uh, but learning how to defeat each and every one of the monsters in different ways, not just all by standing on railings, by the way, you can defeat them in, in a variety of ways, um, has been a lot of fun. I'm gonna get the shovel. It's gonna be very important. Now, you might see that I have one extra inventory slot. That's because we're using the, like, solo setup I've been running. Um, it's... Solo is so much harder than playing in a team, so I've given myself just a single extra inventory slot to basically hold my flashlight. Um, because, obviously, having teammates is a lot better than just having one extra inventory slot. There is nine objects worth uh, 700. Now, this scan right here, I know is extremely inaccurate because I have... Uh, been doing a bit of solo practice here and there, uh, and I've gotten way more items than it actually said on the list before. So I don't know why the list is so off. Um, it, but it just like updates along the way. Just gonna hop in here. We're gonna be fighting all the monsters we see. I mean, except a Bracken. If we get a Bracken on day one here, it's gonna be a disaster. Another mob that I keep dying to and I've like no idea how to deal with is the uh, worm. The giant worm that spawns late at night, ooh, immediate stuff, uh, has been really difficult for me, and he just basically kills me every time. Um, and I want to stay out a little longer, because that's one of the main things that I haven't been doing much uh, while playing this game. I've kind of been playing like a little baby, and leaving at like 4 p.m. I want to try and get as much as possible, because we're trying to get far. So go to Titan early, uh, go... Uh, stay out as long as possible to get as much loot as possible, which means that we're gonna be, like, 
staying up the up on the planet way later, which is gonna spawn a lot more eyeless dogs, giants, stuff like that. Which is gonna be a learning curve, because I am definitely not used to having to deal with all those guys. Uh, I'm just gonna check this out. Real quick, there's not much here yet. There's the fire escape, that's not great. You actually want the fire escape to be far away. There's bottles on the thing right there. Don't immediately fall, that would have been embarrassing. Is there anything else there? There's something there. I've been doing these jumps all the time, but I'm still scared of gravity. Holy frick, it gets me every time. Now, uh, we're just gonna go straight back. Now, the main thing that, or one of the main things when it comes to bringing back loot when you're playing by yourself is that you only got one pair of hands. So, bringing back these big items is kind of annoying. And we do have to be careful of loot bugs, but I'm not that scared of loot bugs this early. Let's see, this is all dead ends, right? That is a, that actually goes somewhere. Let's check this real quick. I love this game so much. I've been having so much fun. Oh, this, wait, why did this door close? Did I not ever go there? Uh, loot bugs are very cute. I've also learned a trick with loot bugs. If you have a room that's like of moderate size like this, you can actually run in circles around them. You don't even have to run. You can just go in circles and they won't uh, be able to hit you at all. It's like a really neat trick. Similar with the spiders as well as thumpers. You don't have to stand on a railing at all. Did you hear that sound? You don't have to stand on a railing at all to kill them. If you just fight them in a specific way, we got Z3 and I1, by the way. Uh, oh, we don't have to open any of these. So, I think so, oh, there's another key. I don't need all these keys, but I'll pick them up, I guess. Axel, thank you for the super sub. Uh, this can this freaking goes on forever. I'm checking these doors because usually in these hallways there's not much. It's only the doors adjacent to the hallways that you're interested in. Uh, man, okay, there's one thing. These are like the worst items you can possibly find. They're insanely heavy, and they give you like no value whatsoever. I think we've already been there. You need to get like, you need to get honed in on the layouts of these different buildings. Basically, the main thing you need to keep in mind is that um, there's like a few buildings or a few rooms at the, at the start, at the entrance, and then there's this tunnel network, and this tunnel network connects to the rest of all the rooms. However, in the tunnel network itself, there's usually barely anything to find we got keys for this i don't oh well that i should probably look through the window to see if there was anything in there but it's fine we got many keys anyway um and, and this is the apparatus room let's go i'll I, I could check if that door is open but i got a key might as well i'm gonna just take the apparatus right away is there anything else in here uh it said there were oh there's something in there this is actually pretty close to the entrance we can take let's take this first then uh, yeah, I'm not gonna freaking smack a landmine. Let's see, was this open? This was also locked. Sometimes the apparatus room spawns with both rooms locked. So then you need a key, but you find keys, like, all the time. People keep yelling at me, use a lockpicker, use a lockpicker. I never use lockpickers, that shit is useless. Uh, you just find keys all the time in the place. Alright, we're gonna really bring this back. Hopefully not run into a monster yet. They usually spawn a little later. Um, <clears throat> oh god. Why am I so early? Because I am going to be out tonight, so I thought I'd just stream early. Why not? And I've been having a lot of fun playing solo, so I don't really have to make up a, a whole streaming plan. Uh, that's where we gotta go. Let's go. Yeah, lockpickers are just slow, man. It's gonna take many trips back and forth to get this all the way back, but whatever. I think I'm gonna drop this outside now. Uh... Like, the extra inventory slot really doesn't do much anyway when, uh... You mostly want to bring back big items, so it's mostly just there for like grabbing an extra key or something. Okay, that's already 184, which is actually probably like 200. We just need to grab that apparatus real quick. There's already a slime that is probably one of the most annoying monsters. I'm gonna scan you real quick uh, because you can't really, uh, like you can't kill them. All the monsters that you can kill are relatively. Oh, nice, you as well. This is pretty good monster spawn. Um, like, as long as it's not a Bracken, I'm totally fine with it. Hello, sir. I want to scan you. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm just going to run past you if you don't mind. I'm going to take the apparatus, make everything dark, and bring this back to outside. The lizard boy. <laughs> He's such a cute guy. He's a cute dude. I think there's usually around two to three monsters on day one, so this is actually pretty solid. Oh, God. The blah, 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 blah. Can we go in here? We can't go around this way. Nice. <clears throat> That was the friend, yes. Hi, sir. I'm just gonna run past you. Please don't hit me. There you go. You actually scared the shit out of me. I gotta be honest there. <laughs> Anyone else? I don't even know if you can kill that guy, because if you kill that guy, you are a monster, and I don't want to talk to you. Is there anything at the entrance? Sometimes there's, like, an item right here. Okay, so we got uh, four big items, two 
metal sheet. There were nine items in there. One, two, three, four, five, six already. I think there is way more to explore. I'm quickly going to do a round. It's already 3 p.m. Um, you know what? Let's actually bring back these items already because it's already three and we know the big monsters are going to spawn. I'm just going to leave my stuff here and only take back this really quick. Uh, because if there's a, a worm that's going to spawn later, I'm going to be in big trouble. So we're just going to rush this. Uh, is there a beehive as well? I don't know if there's a beehive. I want to kill some bitches, man. Don't be worm. Don't be worm. I hate worms. I'm taking all the heavy stuff first. Is that a beehive back there? I can also scan these guys. Well, I guess I missed them. <clears throat> You can get a hive by yourself easily. It's honestly the safest method, is doing it by yourself instead of with a team. With a team, the bees are gonna start going on a killing spree. Uh, nice. Whereas if you're by yourself... Um, oh god, it's getting late. SD, thank you for the five. Yeah, you, if you it just, it's, so, it's not even, you don't even have to do much. You just like add the single inventory, pr turn on the, or get yourself the mod that allows you to toggle your flashlight with F. Like, at that point, you're already pretty set up for solo gameplay. This is kind of annoying having to take all these items back one by one. I guess I'm going to leave one big item. Because <clears throat> going into the fire escape is not even going to do anything for me. I don't know if there is anywhere else to explore. We'll see. Am I... Uh, yeah, you are enjoying your morning coffee. I already drank mine. I drank like three morning coffees, <laughs> to be exact. What is the ship loop mod? It just tells you how much is on the ship. That's all. It just, when you right click when you're on the ship, it tells you exactly how much value is all the items combined. Because if you have too many items on the ship, it doesn't give you an accurate value. Yeah, I am an all-day coffee enjoyer. All right, I'll take the axle. I think that's also the heaviest. No, this is actually heavier. Never mind, I'll take this then. I'm just going to take my flashlight back so I can charge it. Can I fucking jump, please? Jesus. Okay, it is already six, but I don't give a crap. I do give a crap about the worm, potentially, which would just be insta-death, but it is what it is. Coffee is nice. Boom. Okay, church flashlight. Okay, so this is almost everything. We already got 200, which is already quota. Easy peasy. Let's see how much more is in there. One of these items is actually still at the front door. So there's only three more items in there, according to the thing. I am going to go back in. Usually, I would leave at this point, but I've been trying to stay out a little longer just for the for the hell of it. Just to have some fun with the crazy monsters that show up later. It's been, uh, it's been very spooky. When does the worm usually spawn? At like 8 p.m. or something? Uh, we're gonna do one quick exploration trip to see if we can find anything. Okay, so we're just gonna leave this coil here for now. We're gonna go back in. Near activity detected! Okay, maybe... Whatever. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> maybe that's right there. <laughs> Alright, run it back, run it back. <laughs> Fuck we, dude. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that was some bullshit. <laughs> dude, any clippers? All right, well, uh, maybe not the best thing. I think we're gonna quickly... Oh, wait, I actually keep a little bit. Oh, of course, because of the... Yeah, 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 but we're gonna quickly reset that one. That was just a fail. <laughs> what the fuck? What's the worst that could happen? That happens, goodness gracious. Okay. We're redoing day one. That was, that was fake. That was fake news. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna... The, what, the nice part about playing solo, which is like my favorite thing, is that you can spend all the money. It's all yours. No one can take your money. Uh, so I'm just gonna buy a shovel and a pro flashlight for myself, which is amazing. Job. Welcome to this my first day. I love the sound. Uh, what's on here? We got 12 items, approximately 800. So what I've been trying to do is get basically every item. Uh, usually, before, I would leave at 4 p.m. every time, like a little baby. I've been enjoying just staying out way longer and taking more risks. Yes, it leads to dying more, but that's part of the fun. 
Um, and I beat up all the monsters. I've been trying to trying out different strategies to beat up all the monsters. The only monster that I don't know how to beat up solo is the Bracken. The Bracken, I mean, and of course the Giants. You can even beat up dogs, I'm telling you. If you close the door and then you start whacking the shovel on the door, the dogs will come to the door and then you can hit them through the door to kill them, which is kind of interesting. Um, look at, listen to the music. So peaceful. It's gonna not be peaceful once we're in here. That's so nice. Alrighty, well this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. I love I love playing this game solo. It's actually been like at first I thought it was a uh, it was a game that you basically exclusively have to play multiplayer, but the more I've tried to just uh, play it solo and experience it, uh, get more experience with it, it's been a lot of fun. Yes, the main thing that is annoying is that if you ever die, it's like all right, well there goes uh, <laughs> there goes the run. No one is there to teleport your body back or anything. Uh, so there's 12 items it said that's or like 10 or 12 or something that's a lot of money 800 bucks if we can get uh, a bit of that that would be great now as you're seeing if you're if you're tuning into this right now we have five inventory slots there's a few mods that i have one allows me to turn on the flashlight by pressing f which is amazing uh i almost fucking fell there i actually my heart sank dude um the other one just gives me an extra inventory slot and i have an additional one just to make the dropship arrive a little quicker which i just find neat because having to wait for the dropship is just kind of annoying uh i'd rather do fun stuff i'm gonna leave that there for a moment and just explore around here oh god it's this giant hello what's that what's that sound this game can be so fucking spooky i think there's actually uh special jump scares or not really jump scares i guess um there are special things that only happen while you play solo and there's like these weird little sound bites that happen um randomly while you're walking around by yourself for example one of them which absolutely terrified me when i was playing like late at night one day it's like some girl saying hello and it's not related to the little girl ghost thingy uh, it is literally just some random sound bite. I don't think it even has any- I'm, I'm gonna pick this up later. It has anything to do with the monsters. It's just fucking haunted. Uh, we're gonna explore this area. This, I don't like this room because it's very large and there's lots of ways to go. I'm seeing- uh, man, there's a lot of good stuff though. I like- uh, what you want to find is many of these items. Because when you're playing solo, you only got one pair of hands. So, big items are gonna be an absolute disaster for you. Uh, is this even a way to go? I don't know if I want to go there. I mean, I guess I'll check it. That shit right there. That's fucking turbo haunted. Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck was that noise, brother? Oh, another key. I get a key from the room where I used the key to get in. We're gone full circle. And I found a bolt. That's good stuff. Um, there's no monsters yet usually early on. I've been playing a lot of Brutal Company. So I've been getting more used to the insanity of that mod. Oh, this is such a shit jump. Can I make this? Did something just go out of the vents? I don't know what's happening, man. This it's already cursed. I've been dro I've been doing this a lot. Dropping items in the path back to where you need to go as like tiny breadcrumbs. It's been helping me a lot to navigate the places. Because once you get lost in Lethal Company, uh, you're pretty much fucked. So, leaving, like, these little trails. Plus, you don't have to carry it around. Uh, so, like, I can drop this here because I know I'm gonna be passing this on the way back. Um, so I can just grab all the things on my way back to the truck so I don't... Oh, wait, this fire escape is right here, though. Wait, that's huge. I can just put it in here. This is locked. I'm gonna open that. Anything going on in here? This is locked as well. That's kind of annoying. Man, this place is massive. I think I got a really big... Another key? What the... He I'm telling you, the lockpicker, people keep telling me to use the lockpicker. That shit's fucking useless. Because you find keys literally everywhere. So I haven't brought anything back yet. But that's kind of the way you, you gotta space your time. Uh, because early... Oh man, this is huge. Early game, you're really safe in the dungeon. Uh, because there's not that many enemies yet. I don't think there's anything on here. Okay, so we, we got a lot of weight, but we got a lot of money on the path as well. I'm just going to start heading back. I think I'll drop this at the fire escape. It's not the best place, but you can drop stuff down. Hello? Uh, I'm going to just go out here real quick and drop this. Uh, you can also jump on the railing there and drop it down the stairs so you don't have to take it with you. I have my shovel at the ready, though. I'm gonna be smack. You okay? This shit's so spooky. <laughs> I hate this. Um, can we go back here? Yes, we can. Hello? Any gamers? Any monsters yet? 
I love restarting a new run because you get to scan all the monsters again. It feels... Oh, it's a thumper. I can kill that guy. Uh, there's actually lots of different ways. I know everyone knows about the railing strat, which I'm going to be using a lot during this as well. But there's other strategies to kill enemies that don't require even getting on railings at all. Um, with thumpers, basically, you have to be close to them while they start attacking you. So then you can... Because for some reason, when they're close to you, they don't speed up. It's only when they're far away from you and they, like, charge up to you. Uh, they get crazy. I'm gonna quickly grab this, and we're just gonna go out the fire escape. I think that's way easier here. Dude, we got so many tiny things. I haven't found a big item at all. Uh, Thumperman? I know you can't hear me. I should also turn on, uh, voice activation. Oh, God. Um, I'm gonna try and kill this guy real quick. Where is he? There's something. Okay, I might have to fucking jump on this real quick. Hello, sir? He's not- he's not going fast yet. So what we want... Fuck, fuck, fuck! Okay, that was not great, but that is exactly... Okay, that is not exactly... <laughs> fuck, you walked past me, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> so what you want to do there is you want to have him charge you, which is what I expected him to do, but then he just walked past me. So you want him to walk up to you. Way safer is to get on the railing. Uh, but if he is close to you, he just slowly walks up to you without doing his charging attack and going past you. But that was just a rip right there. All right, well, we're restarting. <laughs> oh, wait, how many people are playing this game right now? I haven't tried playing any. Look at this shit, by the way. Bigger lobby, bigger lobby. What the fuck? What are these names? Late game upgrades is a lot of fun to use. E-girls only. Fear only God. Okay, the what are these fucking... I can't show this. <laughs> See this fucking lobby, dude? It's insanity, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, you didn't see that. YouTube, you didn't see that. Don't ban me. Alrighty, uh, buy stuff. We need to not die. This shit is hard, man. Playing solo, I'm telling you. Yeah, the multiplayer is, uh, is crazy sometimes. 12 objects were at 900. That is incredible. I love it here. Um, okay, we're just gonna have to fight all the monsters by ourselves, though, because we got no friends. I mean, we could play with friends, but playing solo is so much fun. I'm telling you. If you haven't tried it, I, at first, when I first played solo, I was like, this is absolute garbage. Uh, you don't stand a chance. Uh, I would recommend installing a few mods to just, like, give yourself an extra inventory slot. Especially the one that allows you to turn on the flashlight by pressing F. Without that, even multiplayer is just extremely annoying. Um, like, you do have to keep in mind that you don't have anyone to, like, watch over you, right? You don't have anyone to look at you from the terminal to tell you that there's a fucking monster around the corner. You don't have anyone to open doors for you, turn off turrets. What the fuck is that mine? I'm totally gonna step on that later. Um, and the other thing, you don't have anyone to carry back stuff for you, so you're gonna have to do that all by yourself. Uh, so basically, what you gotta do playing solo, which is actually a lot of fun, is just stay way longer on the planet. It's super dangerous, because there's a lot more monsters coming out that'll want to eat your ass. Uh, but you can just fight them all. Everyone except the Bracken, the Blob, you can fight inside the... Inside the base. This is insane spawn, by the way. There's so many things. Um, I love fighting thumpers, spiders. You can jump on railings, or you can fight them in other ways. But jumping on railings is just by far the safest strategy. Uh, loot bugs, you can actually... Oh, there's a dustman as well. Loot bugs, you can actually run around them uh, in circles. It, I'm not going to do it right here because there's a bomb right there. But you can run around them in circles and they'll never hit you. Uh, yeah, you can use the bum boom box on the blob. However, I don't think it like baits them. It just makes them faster, which seems like exactly the opposite of what you want to do. Uh, oh, there's just nothing in any of these rooms. That's fine. Uh, this is a really lucky spawn, by the way, having all these rooms spawn close by. So the way basically every single uh, dungeon generates is there's a few rooms at the start, and then there's like this huge tunnel. Ah! Don't walk in the mine! You piece of shit. Even if I get got here, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, that is a monster. I scanned him. Uh, I'm going to have to pay attention to where he falls. I need to kill this guy. Even if I get got, it's fine. Okay, that is not fine. <laughs> oh, 
Holy fuck, dude. This has been insanely unlucky, brother. <laughs> you know what we're doing, baby? We're restarting again. <laughs> Uh, maybe playing solo is not as easy as I thought. <laughs> you just gotta be careful for the for the mines and stuff. Um, all right, here we go. Give me, give me all my stuff. <clears throat> Plan me. But yeah, if you have a bad uh, rear view mirror, you would imagine. Job. It's my first day on the this job. We're gonna be totally fine. How much money is here? There's 10 objects worth only 600. Those items are worth like barely anything. We'll see though. Um, give me my shovel. I'm gonna be beating up as many things as possible. We do have to be careful of gravity because gravity is my greatest enemy. Just falling into random holes has been like the main way I die. Or to just get randomly snapped. I don't know if this is... My experience with this game is like... Sometimes you'll just be running around and there'll be like 100 monsters attacking you and just have like a great time beating them up. Other times, it'll just be quiet for like literally the whole day straight. And then suddenly your neck will get snapped by a bracken and it'll be like, what the fuck? That came out of nowhere and then you have to start all over again. Brackens are like my worst enemy. Okay, large axle right at the beginning. So 10 items total, right? We need to keep count of this because I want to get all of them. What? That is so unlucky. Having the fire exit r r next to the... Uh, start is not great because you want to you want to have them be far apart so you can use the fire escape as like another way to get around quickly uh, but it's fine we found pickles which is worth 53 the pickles are amazing if you find pickles you know you got a good spawn um, other things oh, oh the pickles actually weigh quite a bit the main things you really want to find are like um, I'll take this out as well just dropping it out here to uh, prevent it from being stolen by a loot bug, which, by the way, this is not entirely safe. On experimentation, I think it is safe, but there are baboon hawks outside which can steal your stuff. I remember this because one time I finally found, like, an insane gold bar, and some baboon fucko stole my gold bar, and then I lost it forever, and I was... I was... scarred for life. I will never forget that moment. Did we already explore this? Is this... What the fuck is that sound? Dude, there's so much stuff everywhere. I'm gonna leave this right here because we're gonna have to go back through that way anyway. Um, let's check around. So usually the tunnel network has like barely- Man, there's so much stuff. I'll leave this right here because we're gonna go back in a moment. I hate the gravity jumps, dude. That's my- that might be a locked door. I'm still gonna try it. Don't fucking fall! Okay. Oh, man. What a- Oh, Jesus Christ! Wait, that can happen? I had no idea those that randomly happen like that. Okay, don't fall. We're fine. We're fine. No gravity got us. Gravity will not get us today. We can go up there as well. Um, dead ends all over. Oh, never mind. Give me stuff. Have I already been here? Nope. I, unless I missed this, which is very possible. Now, we're going to have to be carrying everything back ourselves. Obviously, I this trick I know I already explained it a little while ago, but uh, it's like my favorite new thing just dropping items like a little breadcrumb trail so you know your way back by just following the items you've left behind. It's been such a great aid in navigating solo because you have no one to help, no one is there to like scream from a distance, like I'm here, I'm at the entrance, come to me. You have to freaking do that all yourself. Yeah, we have so many fucking items, it's a little insane. Um. Oh, it's this room. I don't know if this room is actually related to Bracken, but if it is, then I'm going to die here. In a moment, there's going to just be a random neck snap going on. Uh, we'll see. Don't take fall damage. It's locked. That's why we got keys, baby. What? This is just an endless sprawl. Oh, this is the apparatus room. Wait, that's huge. If we can take this. It's not even locked. Let's go. Um, I guess I'll quickly check. Oh, fuck you. I'll quickly check that other room that was around here. So we're going to be making our trip back here soon. Uh, so you basically want to go as deep as possible early on because there's no enemies yet. Um, and you want to have a shovel. If you don't... Oh, fuck. Oh, there's nothing in there anyway. If you don't have a shovel while playing solo, what the fuck are you doing? That shit is basically required to get anywhere. Okay, so we're going to take the apparatus, uh, which is insanely heavy. And then we're going to pick up some of the bolts on the way back. I think we're going to leave the tattered plates for now. Um... Oh god, something just came out of there. It's always spooky. I'm just checking around if there's like any any brackens. Because you have to look at the brackens as to not get cheesed by them. Did I already check up here? Uh, oh yeah, this was the bracken room. I have to go through server, right? There's a bolt here, I remember. 
It also gives you like, I, I think this is, I don't know if this is like a brain hack or something, but for me personally, if I leave stuff somewhere, it's easier to remember where I've been because I have like a mental like checkpoint. Like, oh, I left something there. I know that's the way I need to return because what happens a lot when I play solo is that I just start randomly. I think I left a plate here somewhere, right? Um, that I just start randomly running around and getting full lost and stuff. Um... Then, I mean, I guess I'm already lost. I thought it was... Was it not through here? Wait, I left a plank somewhere. Oh, it was It was in here. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Exactly. See? See right there. I could have gone lost there for a long time, but instead my brain went like, wait, I left something here. I need to go back. And bada bing, bada boom. You found your way back. Now, this is over here. See? It's working. Uh, I'm just going to take this back, though. I think I have far too much. We have to go through that, like, whole open area, though. Oh, and the steering wheel right here. You know what? I'm going to leave this plate here. And take the steering wheel instead because I think it's always better and it's just a little less heavy. Oh no! Scan that guy. Um, fuck. I need to jump on. Fuck. I need to jump on this without falling off. Oh no. Gravity! Gravity! Damn, there's so many fucking. This is not possible. Alright, well, we're gonna have to lead this guy for a little bit. Uh, unlucky. As long as there's not more enemies, we'll be fine. Come on, sir. Come over here. This is gonna suck ass, man. I hear something walking around. I'm gonna turn off the light for now. I can just walk around right in a circle. Oh, never mind. I can't. I can jump over it. If I get him to come in this corner here, I can go around. I can jump him. Oh, he is very thin right now. He's a thin boy. Okay. Uh, be careful. Oh. Woo! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Now, what's really annoying about this guy, especially when playing solo, what I've found, is that they will just, like, fucking camp the front door right here, and they'll just make it impossible for you to leave or come back in, which is insanely annoying. So we're gonna have to potentially lead him away a little bit. Um, I left another... Oh, God. I really want that tatter plate as well, but I guess we're gonna leave it there for now. So we need to pr pretty much, like, explore right now. And then never again, because if we have to go back through, that was locked, right? Or something. Um, it's going to be a disaster. I'm quickly checking around here. I don't think there was much. Did I already check that door? I don't know if I did. Just like, I mean, we already found quite a bit. I can't keep going through that. I'm going to, I'm going to check this door. I don't know if I did. Didn't check this. Oh, it's fine. Okay. This is just another way to get in here, uh, which... This just fucking goes everywhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi there, sir. Hello. I'm gonna try and avoid that. I hate that guy. Which, by the way, I've seen so much misinformation about these guys. There was, like, some viral post on Twitter of someone, like, saying they invented, like, a new tech that is, like, the shake tech or some bullshit. No, that's not true. They were just playing solo, and in solo, the B or the 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 head lice or whatever this is called, the snare flea, always lets go right before killing you. So they just got like, oh god, uh, they got like confirmation bias into thinking they invented some new tech. That's just simply not how that works. Is he here? I'm gonna have to leave. I can't go back in through this door because the monster's gonna be camping out at the front door, which is annoying. I need to charge my flashlight anyway. It's already 4 p.m. and we have a lot of stuff, so it's not bad. How much is this? Oh, this is... Okay, it doesn't count the apparatus, right? So this is like 200. It's already quota. Easy peasy. Uh, I'm just gonna... I don't even know if I really should take the candy. I guess I should take the... This first. Oh, yeah, you cannot... Uh, shake the bug off your head. It's just when you're playing solo. It will actually never kill you as far as I know. Yeah, we can use the fire ex escape door. Uh, which, by the way, if we get killed by the worm here... Uh, GG, well played. I can't... I don't know how to avoid the worm. I'm really bad at it. I think you need to run backwards. So you need... Once you hear it, you run the opposite way of what you were going... To, to try and get away from him. But I've just been dying all the time. Head lice? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the name of them. You can also hit them off with this shovel. So that's why I always have a shovel. Especially solo, if you need to have a shovel at all times. But in multiplayer too, uh, let's see how much stuff... Oh, let, we need to get some more stuff and charge the flashlight. Um, uh, if you have a shovel, it will drop your items when you get the when you get the, the flea on your head. But if you stand still, so always don't start running around like a maniac when you get snare fleed. 
you just stand still, you look at the ground, you scan, and you you find where your shovel is, you pick it up and you smack. It's that's that's it. You just smack the thing off your your head. Uh, I'm gonna take this back. I'm just gonna leave this here. We can still go in a little bit, but it's very risky. But maybe through the fire escape. Um, <clears throat> we could just quickly pop our heads in there. As long as there's no worm, because the worm will actually fucking end my end my existence right here. It would be very sad. Don't you dare. It's been so fun. Like, this gives me huge Phasmo vibes, where I just can't wait, like, one year from now, when we start looping revenants around the fucking kitchen table and stuff like that. Like, I, I already... It's already 240. There's, like, a skill ceiling to this... Did my volume just bug for a sec? There's, like, a skill ceiling to this game where you can learn how to defeat all the monsters. Now, even if you're, like, a pro, you will still die. It's not like you can totally avoid dying. Um, but you can do a lot. I'm not gonna go back in there because there's probably a blob right in front of the door. So we have to take the fire escape, which, um, to, so, to avoid that guy. I really hope he's not gonna be there because there's, as far as I know, you just die. Like, if the blob is at the door, you cannot possibly get out in time, uh, before he kills you, which that's just the way it is. Oh, it's a bug. I've, the main bug that I've been really hating is the, like, lag bug, where suddenly your game just, like, starts having, like, two FPS. Okay, please don't tell me he's here. I will become the Joker. Okay, he's not here. That's good. That's very good. There's not much stuff around here. Wasn't this close to the entrance? Yeah, it's literally right there. Is he at the entrance? Ah! So stand still. A scan for... Wait, where's my shovel? Okay, this is fine. He's gonna get... The door is in the way, brother. There you go. You smack him off your head. Like that. You see? The door was just in the way, which was insanely annoying. Uh, because the door, like, got priority over my... Did he just completely disappear? And I think it will... As far as my experience goes, the snare bug will never kill you. Even if you're already at critical health, he will not kill you. I have to, like, be extremely careful now because I'm obviously very low HP. I'm just gonna... Oh, he's right here. I'm just gonna pick up these things and, like make it out i think this is like a little bit of extra cash probably not worth it um but we can scan how much we got as i said i want to try and stay a little longer uh but at some point it's just stupid to stay around longer right like at this point uh we already have so much stuff uh, and it's already literally 9 freaking p.m so we have to drop this asap um if we're gonna hear the worm and then run the complete opposite way I really hope there's no worm. Also, remember, we're playing with voice activation, so if there's a dog, I have to be quiet. I need to keep that in mind. No worm? Okay, that's fine. All right, we made it, dude. Let's go. That was a pretty sick first day. Not the best it could have gone, but let's see how much we got from the total value. There's only two objects left. That's pretty freaking sick solo. Uh, I'd say that's a big win. And we even got the apparatus and stuff. 266 day fucking one. Uh, get me out of here. It's pretty sick. That's already quota. But uh, again, what you try and do... Uh, there's like people telling you don't sell as much as you like only sell as much as you need to get the quotas That's bullshit sell everything you can early because you want to try and get to Ren, Dine, and Titan as early as possible Because those are the planet that really start giving you money um, So if you just stick around on the basic pl look at that S rank, baby. You see that S rank on the <laughs> On the quota, we still got two days left. Now, one of the mods, by the way, which, by the way, you've already seen it probably, I have one extra inventory slot just to help because friends can carry way more than just one extra inventory slot. And it still doesn't help with carrying big items because the big items, like, uh, you can only carry one at a time anyway. And those are the most expensive usually. So it really isn't, like, a big deal. It's just a little help. Uh, the other thing, turning off your turning on and off your flashlight with F is amazing. Uh, let's see if we can go to March. We cannot... Ooh, what the fuck? This is insanity. March flooded, which is ass. Assurance. Everything is fucked, man. I guess we go to March flooded. 
I don't want to go to Experimentation Flutter because I know that one's the most annoying. I guess we have to go to March. That is insanely unlucky day two. Um, I know March Flooded is possible, but definitely not great. Um, it just means that some of the fire escapes are like insta-death because if you leave a fire escape, you are gonna get drowned immediately, which is shitty. Oh, there's beehives. Wait, I could just focus on beehives instead and just get those. Like, wait, let's leave this here. How much is this beehive? I'm gonna scan as well for the creature data. 147! Okay. I will fucking take that and just focus if there's another one of those. This is, like, way more than I could get from going inside. So, if you've never seen solo beehives, it's insanely easy. Okay, well, not if you miss it like that. <laughs> you have to basically walk up to the bees to trigger them, and then you walk in a circle around them. You, I, this is gonna be confusing. Uh, there we go. You walk, run in a circle... And then once you can drop them on the back here, you drop it and you just run. That's it. That's all you do. And now it's right there. Oh, God. You've got to go back to your beehive, man. Um, unless it fell off. So right now it's on the back. At the end of the game, you just pick that up. And that's it. You just pick it up. You go run outside and you pick it up while, while the ship is leaving, which uh, will leave the bees behind. You can also drown them, I think. I think people... I don't know if this is true. This might be misinformation. But people have told me that you can have a beehive, like, drop it in the water, and then the bees will attach to the beehive, and they will drown in the water, which might be a cool tech here since we got so much water. Uh, but I would have to confirm that myself, because that's the thing with these games. It was the exact same when Phasmo first came out. Uh, it is, like, misinformation city. So, as I was talking about before with the, like, snare flea tech that people thought that you could shake them off. There's just... Because there's so many... Oh my god, there's so many beehives. I think we just do a beehive run. Honestly? This is gonna be hard, though, because there's water there. But if these are all 140... Like, I don't need to go inside at all to get money. I'm just gonna leave this stuff here right now. I'm gonna have to pick them up later. It's, like, super early, so there's not gonna be any monsters. It's... I'm just gonna try and get this one out of here. So it's detached from the... Go, 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 go. But you can also do another tech, which I think is worse than just bringing them back. Um, you can also bring the beehive inside the base, um, which will then make the bees detach and start roaming around randomly. But the problem with the bees is that if they ever find you, if a random bee swarm ever finds you, you will die. There is no way you can die avoid dying to... Like, I mean, unless you're right at a door, you're just gonna perish. Uh, it's, it takes a little bit, but basically just this. This is the strap. You just pick up a beehive, run into the base, etc., etc., etc. Um, let's do it. Let's wait for the stamina. You can also use the TZP inhalant, but... Go, go, go. I need to get over this. Oh, God! No, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why flooding is so bad. Don't kill me! No! Okay, so I shouldn't have tried that. I, I learned something. So you cannot take the beehives with flooded. It is what it is. Um, because the water insanely slows you down. I even dropped the beehive before the water and then kept going. Damn. Okay, so we still have enough for quota anyway. And we learned something. Uh, I guess we'd have to go the other way instead. But I think there's water there as well. So you kind of just want to take the beehives in that little area. That's just unfortunate because we had flooded on the whole planet. We still have how much? We still have 140. This is fine. This is all good. Uh, you, this is what's going to happen solo. So by the way, if you're confused why I still have stuff, um, when uh, playing solo, I would highly recommend you using a mod that allows you to... Uh, basically, every item, there will be a coin flip. Uh... 50% of the time, it'll be uh, it'll be gone. 50% of the time, you'll keep it. So I got a little unlucky, I think, here because I lost, like, the apparatus and some other good stuff. But I kept a little bit. Uh, because if you're playing solo and you die, which is extremely common in this game. It's like the game is made to fucking die all the time. I'm going back to March right away. Fuck this. Uh, oh, we're already, already here, of course. Um, the main thing we lost now is our shovel and our flashlight, which is really annoying. I should have left that on the... Um, on the ship, but it's fine because we only have one day anyway. We just need to get enough for quota and a little bit more. 16 objects, that's huge. I would love to take a beehive now because now there's no more um, flooded bullshit going on. Uh, that was a shame. I I, I, th I totally thought we could do that, but I'd never tried that on flooded before. Uh, so that's on me. Uh, I'm not seeing any beehives. We're just going to head in. 
<clears throat> yeah, bees camping inside the ship is just... You're fucked. <laughs> There's nothing you can really do. Like, if so, if a friend dropped a beehive in the ship, uh, you're gonna have to take the beehive out to survive. Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, it's still here! I don't know if that's some mod conflict, but I'll fucking take it, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Why is it still there? <laughs> fucking let's go, dude. Easy peasy. I mean, technically, I just went back to the same planet, right? So it makes sense. Uh, okay, there's there's stuff around. Landmines, I mean. I'm scared. Oh, God. Fuck this room. As I said, that is another thing that might be misinformation. Um, I don't know if that's true, but people have told me that if you see that room, you will have a Bracken. Which, the Bracken solo, as I said before, are... Oh, God. That's why... You, that's ABS right there. Always be scanning. ABS. You gotta be careful, man. Can I crouch? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go there. Fuck that place. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Uh, I don't want to be dead. <laughs> Always be scanning to avoid shit like that happening. I wish they had a riot shield. You know what? That's actually a sick item idea. Adding a riot shield to the game to be able to block uh, turrets. Someone's got to mob that in. This game has had... So oh my god, let's go. Uh, this game has had such amazing mods already created for it. It's super exciting to think what's going to be happening in the future. I hate... So March is awesome, but the one thing I really hate about March is the... How common uh, giants are. Giants will be... Or absolute... Like, will be a disaster for us. I also want to learn how to... Oh, there's another thing. I want to learn how to use... Um, a stun grenade on giants and stuff. There's something up there. Oh, this is another room. No turrets, please. So I think the way the game generates your dungeons is that there's like a certain danger level that gets generated. So in this case, if you see a lot of turrets, I found that on average, you're going to get less monsters. So the more turrets, the less monsters. There's just like a... Oh, there's turrets over there as well. I don't know if that's just... Like, also anecdotal misinformation. Oh my god, there's turrets everywhere. Jesus! Are you alright, game? The fuck? There's another one right there! Oh god. Oh, uh, it's spider. Spider, spider, spider. This is fine. It's fine. We can kill his ass. Fuck you, dude. Oh no! Dude, I was up against a wall! That's exactly how you gotta do that, though. You gotta back off and smack them, but I was against a wall, so I fucking got murdered. Okay, we're never gonna get quota here, rest in peace. But hey, this is this is the exact uh, pain you're gonna go through to play solo. And it's been still a lot of fun. If you can just get a really good day, I think that's why the mod to only lose half the items is so fun. Because if you get a really good day, you can, um, you can kind of make up for those bad days. All right, we're gonna get vented, get ready. Uh, I actually need to install the mod to... I'm in orbit. What are you talking about? Um, I need to install the mod to be able to... Don't show the lobby names again. We're going to get banned. Uh, to be able to die quickly. Because that's the one mod I forgot. How did I... What was it called? It was like restart something. Restart. Quick restart. There we go. This mod is awesome. You can just die. <laughs> it's the kill yourself mod. <laughs> There's a minimap mod? I'm not doing that. That seems like absolute cheating. That seems too easy. Like, I've only added, like, two things. Like, the inventory plus flashlight. That's what I what I like. All right. Um, I could just close it, but let's just get vented. Let's die. So, what do you do for day zero, right? Shut up. Uh, yes. So, did I type the slash? I did. Rest restart. Raw start. <laughs> That's not how you type that word. Confirm. There we go. We're gonna die. Get ready to be vented. Close enough. As you have not met the proper Rest code, in peace. Your performance has been deemed no! My stuff! Welcome to our disciplinary I process. still got this! You want this? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's how we die, baby. I love the little cutscene. I just wish you could, like... I mean, it's nice there's a mob to trigger it quickly. Alright, we got this. <clears throat> How do I go to the same stuff? What do you mean? All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. Let's really restart though, because I wanna have the the mobs. Like I wanna rescan the mobs again, because I love doing that. 
Alrighty. Send me. I'm going. I think when on the first day, I don't know if this is, I think this is true. On the first day, the weather is always the same. Yeah, March is always flooded, so you can never Welcome go to March to on day, day one. On the job. Give me a shovel. This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration of your Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, we're gonna be beating up, like, everything as much as we can. Although, it is very hard to defeat the monster solo. I don't really think having a team helps when it comes to killing monsters, except if you want to, like, go crazy and kill a Bracken or something. Because, like, your friend can help with a stun gun or something, but from my experience, the zap gun is, like, worse than useless. It just locks onto your teammates and you get killed. Um, or, you, like, you stun them instead and then everything just goes wrong. I've not had the best of experiences with the zap gun. All right, what do we got? Ooh, it's very dark in here. Sometimes I think the power can start off in some areas. So you have to turn it on if we can find the breaker box. I'm just going to leave this here. I know loot bugs might spawn later. We can always kill the loot bugs and steal our stuff back. Oh, there's nothing here. I hate those little dead end rooms, man. I hope we're going to see any... Oh, nice. Anything but the slimes today because I the slimes are like my worst enemy because you can't smack them There's no way to smack them and Another key dude. Uh, We could go there. There's a bolt. This is a bit of a shitty jump, but Woo, Every time it scares me. <laughs> oh nice. Wait, this place is good. Leave that there uh, Never mind this place. There's a little something but not much Get some stuff. We're gonna have to don't close that on my own face. Can you not do that? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna leave one of these keys. I hate the door and the things interacting like that. Okay, can we make this jump? We can. Yes, we can. Okay, this is fine. This is all fine. Is it true that Blob dances? I think yes. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop this outside real quick, just in case the loot bugs want to steal my stuff. I don't want them to steal my things. Right there, that's already, uh, 77. We only need 130, but if you can be a god gamer and somehow get 700 on the first quota, uh, you can go to Titan on quota 2, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that here, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, oh nice, we're in the network. I think that might be the apparatus room. No. No, it's not. The apparatus room is always... Like, you get 80 bucks from just the apparatus alone. It's insanely heavy, of course, but... Um, nice, another thing. Can I get some small stuff as well? I can get some small stuff. I'm just gonna leave this here as my little breadcrumb trail. Go back later. Uh, oh, that door as well. I need to keep my, an eye on my flashlight. Because it's gonna... Let me guess, this is gonna be locked? Nope, it's not. Uh, there's a fire escape with lots of stuff around here. Wait a minute. We can just bring this to the fire escape instead. Uh, I'll leave the key here. That's so nice about, like, what you want to see. Oh, did I open this door? It, let me guess. It's going to be locked. What you want to see in this game is have the fire escape be far away from the... Do I hear an enemy? From the main entrance, so you can use, use it as, like, a quick way around. Okay, this place looks pretty. I'm not going to go there. I'm just gonna grab these things and bring them outside real quick. So we're gonna have to take away back. This is already so much money right here. Uh, we should probably think about bringing some of it back already. So we potentially don't lose it all. Uh, I'm just gonna take that as well. This. There's a tethered metal sheet too. Just leave the shovel in here. Get me out of here. And it's still not even 1 p.m., dude. That's huge. Okay, so we get 77. What the fuck? I just clipped that through the thing. Did you see that shit? Okay, so we have a little over 66 here. I've never seen that before. Why did it clip like that? Um, there's also the server room, which it's... Let's see. Was stuff off? Yeah, look at this. So it can work like that. So the light in some areas is off, so you got to turn that back on. So now we're going to have more light in different areas. That's cool. I didn't know that the breaker could actually spawn off like that. hearing all kinds of sounds the creepy sounds that only happen when you play solo will haunt my dreams forever hearing like some random hello into the microphone uh is fucking 
terrifying. There's nothing back there. I think I'm going to bring this back right now. We basically have a full inventory right here. Uh, we're even going to have to leave our shovel and flashlight here. Uh, I think I'm going to drop everything like this. So just stand on the, on the railing. And then you drop it so you don't have to take it back down. You have to obviously pick it up down there. Uh, but just make stuff a little faster. I guess I already dropped one thing all the way through the ground somehow. Um, don't know where that went. Is it here? Did it literally clip out of bounds? Oh no, it's just, it's just right there. Two of the things! Wait, what? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna leave this here. We'll pick that up later. And we just literally... It's the perfect inventory capacity. Let's go. Uh, do we have a couple of the hello? No, because I was doing it off stream. I was just playing the game by myself. And then suddenly, someone just said hello to me, and I just, like, froze in fear. It's shit's terrifying. Yeah, I'm very heavy right now. Uh, the game speed is slightly slower. Yeah, but that's basically, like, required when you play solo. Otherwise, your days just go by too fast. I think it's, like, 20% slower. Something like that. Alright, no worms, please. Yeah, 1.15. It's like the when you download the mod, it says like recommended for solo play is 1. Point something, and you just do that. That's what I did. I just took whatever the recommended value was. People probably thought about it, not me. I just used whatever they said. Let's go. Look at this. That's so much stuff already. I mean, this is only 26, but still, how much is that? That is a total of 115 already quota, basically. Scan. How much more is there? There's only four objects, and most of them are already at the front door. Wait a minute. We're actually gonna, like, full clear this place, and it's not even 4 p.m.? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. We're insane with it. Yeah, we have basically everything at the front door. How much is here? Uh, wait. Is this... This is like basically everything. There's three items here. I guess I'm just gonna go back with this. Like, there's no reason to go looking for that one single item in the base and when it's already four. Uh, I, I had a goal to stay out a little later, as I said, to see some of the crazier monsters around the ship. But there's really no reason if we already found everything, obviously. I'm just gonna take my stuff back because we don't have more money. We're at five credits right now and we're only gonna get money. That's the one of the things. I thought that the Brutal Company mod did that really cool. So in the Brutal Company mod, it's way harder. But every time you land, you get a little bit of money, which allows you to buy stuff like pro flashlights. Because the problem, like once you lose your items, you have to wait until quota day before you get money and you can buy stuff again. Um, which is kind of annoying, especially solo. Oh god, there could be a giant worm, which I'm very scared of the giant worm. I still don't know how to deal with that guy. He will probably just end me. If he shows up now, but it's only five, right? What are the chances? Please don't do it. Go, go, go. I think we're fine. This was an insane first day, dude. Oh, come on. You can actually climb on this railing, by the way. And jump, like, on that. And walk in. All right. I want to see the scan. Is it actually going to say, like, one item remaining? That is 190. There is a one object outside the ship totaling an appropriate approximate value of 40. I'm not going to be back in for a single item. Go fuck yourself. Okay, so that was pretty much as good as it's going to go. So that I, I, we should have scanned uh, at the start of that round there. I need to remember to do that. Because I think the scan value is so wrong. There's no way that scan value was said that there was like 200 there. I don't know. I don't know what happens with the scan sometimes. But that was awesome. Are we going to get an S rank? S rank from the grade system, which I think the grade you get uh, determines how much experience you get. I still want to get the boss. I'm only leader right now. I'm a little baby. 192 out of 192 S rank, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, can we go to March? I would love to go. I, we can go to March. March is best planet because you get bees plus everything is close. Then there's like three different fire escapes, which is amazing. Um... Because fire escapes just allow you to get around the place way easier. Alright, let's scan. How much is here? We have 16 objects worth 1,500. So this is way, way, way more than last time. Uh, that makes it sound like there's probably beehives as well. I'm not sure. You can only... Like, you can take, like, two beehives max, kind of, when you're playing solo. Sometimes there's just beehives everywhere. I don't see any, though. 
Watch music again. This is straight up Minecraft music, dude. <laughs> Mars is a blessed planet. I mean, Titan is better. Oh, there's a beehive right there. Okay, we can take that beehive later. Um, it depends how much it is. We can check that. As long as there's no giants, obviously, because giants are terrible. All right, no bomb at the entrance. Got to always look down before you explode. There's a good chance we're going to perish here. Oh, there's a big hole. Don't fucking take that. Uh, and this room, wait a minute. Anything in here? nothing in here just the apparatus room okay i'm obviously not gonna take that early if it's so close to the base i'll take the air horn though if i can pick it up without fucking accidentally getting the apparatus come on you can there we go <laughs> so fucking annoying okay, air horns are are so expensive 66 for one item let's go uh, there shouldn't be any enemies yet but i think these like later planets or like anything but experimentation has a few more enemies than usual early on already i want to beat something up man okay that's good stuff the air horn also yeah we scanned it was like 1600 value there were i forgot how many items 15 or something uh we can go in here uh, is this even lead anywhere uh there's something I'll leave that here for now because I want to check this room because sometimes in here there's oh, so much stuff, baby. There were 16 items, okay. Uh, let's see, there's a stop sign, which I don't need because I already have a shovel. Stop signs, by the way, are worse than shovels, right? Let's see, so this one weighs, makes me weigh up the, yeah, so it's a little heavier than a shovel. Not too much, so you can, you can, like, take it with you, but... It just weighs slightly more. Do I hear a blob? Please, no blobs. I hate blobs. Just bring this to the front door. Don't randomly walk upon a mine. We're gonna be doing so well and then randomly get our neck snapped by, uh... That's already 200, dude. Uh, you forgot the shovel? What is this? I'm pretty sure this is a shovel. Oh, no. Not this room. I hate it. You can also hold it, by the way, and let go when you need it to smack. Uh, we can jump over this. That might be a locked room, and I don't have a key, so if we make that jump, and then we're just going to be locked. We're only risking just dying. Uh, I think this kept going, right? And there was a, uh, an engine here as well. Oh, something just came out. I need to always be scanning. ABS. Oh, fuck you! This is, like, the worst enemy in the game for everything, honestly. Fuck this guy. Oh, wait, there's also a... Come with me, dude! Oh, God. Wait, if he comes, I can smack him on the railing. Or I can, like, stay close to him. And, like, back off. But it's really risky. Sir, I need you to die. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Why is he so fast? What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay, scan him. Wait, I can't scan him. Hey, there we go. Come up here. Hey, hey, dickhead. Where are you going? Okay, there we go. I took so much damage from that. That was not ideal. Uh, but yeah, so March is definitely way crazier than, <laughs> than the other planets. Was there something down here? Oh, this was the jumpy room. This is, uh, this is a bit annoying, to say the least. Where was that room? It was here. Okay, take this. Was there a further way down here? This room is amazing for, uh, kiting the blob. Is there a way to go from here? There is a little way up there. I check that. I'm kind of spooked now because my health is low. So if there's, like, a, a loot bug or something, we can already lose. Oh, they, this is literally just the same fucking room. Let's see if anything is off here. Nothing is off. You can turn those off as well, which is cool. You can turn them off and then all the... Wait, actually? We might just do that here because we're going to take the apparatus anyway. Um, you can turn all these off. And then the, all the pressurized doors will open. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> which is kind of a neat little trick. I'm not going to try and do anything spicy here. We're just going to... 
What the fuck was that? We're just gonna loop him around here. Wait for him to come into this room, loop him over there, and then we're gonna go past. You piece of crap. We could use the health station mod. Potentially. Yeah, man. I need to be careful not to get brackened. Yeah, loot bug will be annoying. I would love to play more CO teams. What the terrible trio. Can blobs open doors? I don't think so. So you can't just lock them in. Right? Okay. Uh, he's here. Can Do the, both of these doors have... Or both of these doorways have actual doors in them? No, it doesn't. Because you can lock them in as far as I know. I think. Uh, it's a little spooky now because if there's another... Oh my god, there's another one! Fuck this shit, dude. Okay, um, I think we need to go this way. I think so. Did I go the wrong way? I may have gone the wrong way. Oh god, I think I have gone the wrong way. Okay, but then... So then I'm gonna leave this here so I know that this is the way back later. Um, I think I might perish here. Um, oh wait, maybe not? Wait, maybe not this... Maybe this is the way. Uh, that's a big room. Oh no, that's definitely not where I came from. Oh god, I hate the tunnel network, man. You get so easily lost in here. Always be scanning. Always be scanning for the face bugs. Okay, so this area here. This area is always kind of annoying, but it usually has a few items at least. Uh, this is definitely not the way. There's a plastic fish. Uh, want that. I'm gonna try and do the safe route here. Uh, what I found with when it comes to jumps, if you're having trouble with jumps, is try to jump lengthwise along something you're trying to jump on. Like, if you're trying to jump on this, instead of jumping this way, jump this... Okay. <laughs> That's a bad example because it's so small. But it's like this. This is better. So instead of trying to jump this way, jump this way. So you go like diagonal because then the the hitbox of you actually the hitbox of you landing correctly is larger hey do as i say not as i do that's if i fell down there i would have fucking laughed my ass off uh this is huge i'm just gonna take this route instead then um yeah i don't need that oh fuck that but yeah just a little tip from me to you let's there's just normal weather, right? So we can just go out this way. We should probably take that V-type engine then, but I don't really want to go back in this area because I'm scared of all the fucking blobbies. Uh, we already had a lot of stuff outside, right? Was there anything more up here? There's like no big item. Wait, that door we didn't open yet. Let's check this real quick. We're running out of flashlight, which means we're running out of time, which means we gotta go. Uh, there's like nothing here. Yes. Oh, maybe. Nope. Unlucky. All right, we're gonna get the frick out of here. I'm not gonna go back in the tunnel network to get... I mean, maybe I should really quickly. No, because all the blobs are there, right? Is there anything at the end of this? Yeah, there is something. Maybe we get a thing. I've seen, like, probably a thousand people die in that hole right there. Everyone is jumping. <laughs> jumping through. Uh, come on. Give me something. Don't you... What is this shit, dude? What are these scam rooms? All right, this is unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. Get me out of here. I'm scared. Always be scanning. Sorry, I was breaking the rule. I can kind of be quiet so I can hear stuff, but I don't hear anything. Okay, I'm not seeing anything, not hearing anything. Get me the frick out of here. I don't know where exactly this fire exit's gonna be. Hopefully no- Oh. Fuck. I'm so gonna perish. It's ogre. They can see you from so far away, dude. Can I go around? This is fucked, man. I have to go through the normal way. Because I can't go that way because the giant... Wait, actually, if I bait the giant over here... Wait a minute. Come here. Come here, sir. Giant man? Giant man? Giant man! Hello? If I bait him over here, he's gonna be... Fr oh, fuck. He's going that way. Actually, maybe that's good. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, that's the fucking main entrance, dude. Oh, no. Wait, I'm so... Oh, my God. There's giants everywhere. I'm so... And there's a dog.
don't think I can go back. This is such a bad haul, though. There was so much shit there. I got barely anything. Okay, so I think what I've learned is March may not be the best place to stay out this late. Because if I go back, no, there's giant there, there's giant there. There's no fucking way I get around the middle. It's like, it's actually impossible. And it's already 8 p.m. Okay, that was just me losing track of time. Did you know, um, you can actually use a walkie-talkie as like a little timer? I'll buy a walk- can I buy a walkie-talkie? No, it's too expensive. Uh, there's still so much stuff in there. Oh man, the money, it is what it is. We gotta go. Um, like the, do the dog plus giant combo is absolutely brutal. Because how the fuck are you gonna- I- I didn't do a beehive, right? No, I didn't do that. Um, how are you gonna run away from one of them and then not make sound for the other? It just doesn't work that way. Um, but still, that was- it, we already have quota more- we have double quota and we still have a day. Um, that was grade C. I, I totally deserve that grade C. That is- it is what it is. Uh, can we go back to March though? Okay, so we can go back to March and I think we're going to just stay here. So what we know is that we need to not, uh, go out past like, I don't know, 6 p.m. if we don't want to have to deal with giants. And I get beehives, though, because the beehives alone can give you... Like, last time I left one because I was like, I'll come back here later, not re realizing that I was going to be out for a million years. Uh, I'm not seeing any beehives. Let's scan. Uh, scan. That's not... Oh, you typed. oh my god, 20 up. Okay, we got to rush. We got to rush, rush, rush. Um, I'm still taking a shovel. Because it's now uh, the day of the quota, I can actually leave the shovel and flashlight behind. Uh without really worrying too much. The beautiful music. Love it here. I'll can I scan these? There, another creature. I like the- that's like my little completionist thing, where I like to reset my save file every time I play, so you can scan the an uh, the enemies again. Like all the creatures. I don't know, it's just fun to me. Just that little beep beep beep. You did a good job. Yeah, so much loot here. We don't immediately fucking get blown up. Okay, we need to find some tiny items. That was... Oh, there's a turret fucking at the end of that. Luckily, I didn't run in. Guns blazing. The okay, only way is to the left. Ah, uh, there's a key. Ooh, this room. I see something. It's a remote. Which... Oh, laser pointer, which are huge. The one thing that's annoying about them is that they count as, like, for the mod. Pressing F for flashlight gets sometimes overridden by that. And instead you turn on the laser pointer instead of your flashlight. Okay, well, we're gonna take this, uh, I guess out immediately. We could bring this back already. Uh, oh, do I hear... I thought I heard blob. This is very good. Wait, let's see. What's in here? Anything in here? Uh, let's just bring this to the door, though. This is good stuff. You see this? Now the flat, now the light laser pointer turns on instead of my flashlight. So that's why I don't like to keep it on me for long because it gets really fucking annoying. Uh, if we can find five, find five items, I'm definitely gonna go back with that early, as to not get myself. Wait, why doesn't it turn on the thing anymore? Uh, there we go. I'm gonna check down here. Is that another thing? No. Uh many ways to go. Don't send me in the tunnel network yet. God damn it. I don't want to be here right now. I'm going to get lost in here again. Is there any closed rooms nearby? There's also usually this is the place the monsters spawn. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to try and find a few more rooms close before I head in there. I don't know if there is much. Maybe this is it, but at least we check then. Because over there is something. Any spiders? Oh god. Did I already check this? This is all just dead ends, man. Unlucky. Okay, well, maybe it is the only way forward. Because um, we already checked this out as well. Yeah, it's just all dead ends. They all look the exact same. Okay, unlucky. And that's where we came from. So I guess we're going in here. Which means we're probably gonna get lost and go out of fire escape again. Come on, spiders. Where you at? I, I, lo I love killing spiders. They're also... Because you can just walk backwards. The main... The, the thing that keeps happening to me when I try and defeat spiders is that I walk either into a wall or on a mine or into another enemy while trying to back up and 
like strafe the spider, which is very annoying. Oh god. Fuck. Can I even run that way? Fuck me, man. Okay, it's pointing that way, all the way. How far does it go this way? Okay, that's the first- No, it goes all the way this way. Yeah, you have no friends to help you turn off turrets and stuff, so... Oh, nice. Okay. That's not too bad. There's actually a good room here. Because it has a lot of connections. The annoying part is if you find this room, like, super deep into the dungeon, and then you know you're gonna have to... Uh, there's a mine there. Don't go that way around. Okay, this room, like, rarely has stuff in it. I don't know why. It's the shitty room. There's nothing there. I'm not going. Oh, is that a bracken? Oh, no. What was that? That sounded like a bracken scurrying away. There's an air horn. Huge. Huge loot. You also don't have to worry about... Um, the air horn actually wastes nothing, so it's real nice. This is, we need one more right, and then we can go back. And have, like, five items. I see something there. You can check both of these. I wait, this is where, like, I guess an extension ladder could be neat. Like, save some time. Oh, never mind. Or you're just gonna have a door here. That helps, too. Um, this one looks easier. I'll take this one. Actually, I'll leave this here. Oh, God. I'm still... There's something about the jumps that just gives me, like, the heebie-jeebies every time. It doesn't matter- Oh, nice. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter how m many times I've done the jump, I always get heebie-jeebies. We can go out this way. I think this might be better. That does mean I have to go back and forth to get the fucking, um, air horn. It should be late. Is it already late? No way. Wait. Let's go- let's go out and see. Cause this is huge- oh, come on. This is good stuff. It's only 2 p.m. See, this is fine. Okay, so we're just gonna bring this back now. So at least we have something, uh, before the giants spawn in and make it impossible. Cause otherwise we're gonna have another day that's kinda wasted by just being inside too long. The music is still nice and happy. There's birds. Can I scan the birds? I don't see any beehives. I really wish there was at least one here. It is what it is. We'll see how late it is by the time we are done bringing this. I think it's probably too late to go back in. Just giants, man. What do you do against giants when you're... I mean, not even when you're playing solo, just in general. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave these here. I don't see a world in which I'm going back. Oh, there's a... Oh, no, there's just a bird. The zap gun? Really? Zap gun? I doubt it. There were a few more rooms to check over there. It's just gonna be too risky, right? There's also giants on Titan. Yeah, the zap gun is just so ass. There's nothing more around here. I mean, this is still good. There's a lot of stuff that we just found. The only thing you do against giants is get eaten. Okay, it's 4 p.m. That means they can now almost spawn in. So we need to go. Does they see- Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog right there. Okay, but that's fine. It's far away from the base. I don't mind dogs. Dogs are actually like my favorite endgame enemy. The worst- I think in, in ranks of like worst, I would say worm is probably the worst. Then giants. Then, uh... Eyeless dogs and then baboon hawks because you kind of just beat them up. They don't do anything. I mean, they can steal your stuff, which is annoying. Um, don't talk. He's so far away. He can't hear me. He can't hear me. He's got AirPods in. All right. Um, that is a lot of stuff. Let's see how much that is. He got 500 bucks quota one. That's real good shit. Um, if we, even if we die now, we can survive. We can be fine. I just don't think... Let's see how much more there is in there. Because we found so many little items. There's still 14 items in there? There was 20 before, right? So we took 6 out here. Um, I don't hear a giant yet. We can quickly bop into the... Was there anything around the fire escape? I don't think so. I think we should go. If we die, we can't survive. What I mean with that is that we won't lose too much to the point that we're going to lose quota. Uh, I just... I, 
Okay, I'm glad I left. That was a giant right there. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay, that would have been a terrible idea. Just the thing is that I would love to go to Titan. Uh, I guess we'll go to Titan on the third quota here. What do we even need to buy here? I don't think we need to buy much. I'm definitely going to sell everything, by the way. I'm, I'm going to try and go to Titan early on. Uh, that was still a B grade. Could have gotten a little more there. It's just that March is so stacked that solo it gets hard. Okay, zero days. We're going company. Let's do it. Hey, noob. Noob G help. What's up? To sell your scrap metal and other goods. You have yeah, so days early stream. Thank you guys for joining, by the way. So early. You can use the to move the Goodness gracious. items on here. That's good. Like, th three holes here. In case you're confused why I have to be quiet or why I'm quiet, is because if you're talking next to that, it will open sometimes and then it can kill you, which would be a total disaster. <laughs> So, I'm trying to be, be quiet. Just, just one more, right? Just one more thing. Alrighty, it doesn't fit anymore. Uh, you, you, so, you don't have to click the bell to trigger this guy. You can also... You can just talk like that, or you can use air horn, which will also trigger him. That's why so many people die to it, because a lot of people are just like talking, uh, and then they click the bell. So because of they were talking, the door opens. And if you make any more sound once the door is already open, you risk getting tentacled. Work is invaluable to the company. Um, so you gotta you gotta be quiet. You gotta you gotta zip zip. Like that. Just as soon as it opens, you walk away. It'll take it for you. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything more than that. But you do have to click the bell until the door opens. I've seen so many people click the bell once and then stare at it for 50 minutes. That was me when I first started playing. By the way, it happens to us all. Uh, you just gotta click until it opens and then shut the hell up. Uh, how much money do we have? We have 500, which means we could go to rent and we still have our stuff. So that's not even a bad idea. Um. Although rend is kind of annoying. I don't know if I should go to rend. Let's see. I'm gonna potentially get a fairly hefty overtime bonus. Don't you get a... I don't think this is gonna be 200 overtime bonus, but probably like 50 or something. 66, look at that. So that can actually get you... So if we had a little more, we could have gone to Titan there, but it's fine. Um, how are the moons doing? March is still fine. Ren is stormy, so no fucking way. Uh, I'm heading back to March. Sucks that March has a giant slave game, but still gonna be the most profitable planet for me. Right now, especially because of the bees. Yeah, Titan is amazing. We're gonna try and go to Titan. I'm just gonna save this money. The one thing that's really nice, if you're playing single player, if you get wiped, you don't just lose all your money. Because you only lose 20% per dead body not recovered. Um, so if I'm solo, I'm only one dead body. So I only lose... Oh, that's a beehive right away. I'm gonna take that. Um, that's only 20% of my money. Uh, it's literally underneath the ship, which is not even that bad. Okay, so we're gonna solo beehive this one. How expensive is it? Let's quickly check that. 124? Yes, uh, please. And this one's already close anyway. So you run in a circle, you spam E to pick it up. And then you just kind of drop it. And that's it. And now it's on the ship. Uh, KJ, thank you for the 10 gifts. I'm so <laughs> thank you. So uh, later, after we leave, I'm going to pick that up when the bees... So the bees cannot leave with you. They're going to stay on the planet. So then you can pick up the beehive for free. How much stuff is here? There is 19 objects, 1,800, which is great. Uh, so that's already 100 bucks that we just got, which is amazing. 
I don't see any other- Oh, there's another one! I am totally gonna do that. Two beehives? I think we can take two. Um... I'm gonna drop this one, uh... I should probably drop this one at the front here instead. Uh, of doing it at the back. Which is kind of risky. I actually am gonna do that later, which might mean I can't do it because there's gonna be giants and stuff. Because if I drop it at the front now, then bringing anything back to the ship is gonna involve me having to run past fucking bees and stuff, which I don't wanna do. Uh, it's 9 a.m. We'll be fine. Any more beehives? I don't think. I think two is about the maximum amount of beehives you can take. Because you only got like 10 seconds to bring all of them back into the base. And it's not as simple as just picking them up and dropping them. Because the game, like, takes a while to recognize the beehives for some reason. Okay, I'm hearing nothing. Oh, is that the apparatus room right fucking here? Do oh, wait, no. It it's similar size, but it isn't. You're breathing, I think. I got jibated. Oof, we can go up there. That might be apparatus room instead then. Does anyone... Oh, there's a fire exit already. Does anyone know? The blobs cannot go through doors, right? That's such a shitty fire escape, man. That does nothing. So if you lock a blob in a room with a door and you just close it, they're never going to go anywhere. Oh, what the fuck? You're trying to find the steam valve? By the way, the most annoying steam valve of all time just dropped. Excuse me. Is it at the ceiling? Is it upstairs? The fuck is this garbage? There was a bolt here, right? Uh, there's a big bolt. Okay, grab that. Okay, this is actually insanely annoying. I'm gonna drop that here. Uh, and there's obviously the apparatus in here, which we can take later, but I'm gonna just... Oh, a V-type engine as well. If we can just get a lot of good stuff here at the entrance. I'll just take that. Oh, there! Wait, this might be it. This might be the valve for that area. There. That might be all of it. Removed. Um, how-to stuff. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. What do you think about doing YouTube exclusive streams? Why would we do that if we can just do both? Yeah, look at that. It's a, oh my God, I could have walked on that mine. <laughs> I'm so lucky. No fuck. There was a mine right there. I didn't even realize. Okay, don't walk that way. Check this. It's just so bright in here. What the fuck? Oh, it's more. Oh my God, it's another fire escape. That actually is not bad though. You need to keep an eye on the time. Because we're finding... Did that door... I did not open that door, did I? Maybe I did? Oh, yeah. I think I did. Yeah, this is just the way down again. Um, okay, this is a little bit of a freaking loopy situation going on here. Wait, this all just leaves back to the same spot? Wait. Oh, something came out of the vent. This is not the way I came in here, right? I came from the downstairs area. Which means this could be new. Okay, dude. Nice one. <laughs> you dickhead. Don't have a bracken, please. Whatever you do, do not bracken me. I think I might just take the apparatus. Now, I'm gonna quickly check this as well. Although, I feel like I've already been here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we go up, we go back to the same area, but we can go through here. Oh, never mind. This is a fucking wall. <laughs> I can jump that, but I don't even know what the hell is happening. Oh, there's a door there. But I'm gonna get lost up there. Is there any other way to explore from here? Let's just, um... Take this now. I know it's gonna be annoying later. Uh, we dropped this down here, right? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna just stick that out. Yeah, because it's right here. I mean, maybe I should have left it because it's right at the entrance. That might have not been the greatest move. Uh, that's two things, not too much. We have two beehives, right? We need to keep in mind that whatever we think we have, we actually have like 200 more. So if we... Like, are taking risks that are gonna get us potentially killed. We should probably just leave instead. I've already checked this. Maybe that is the only way forward. Really? You have to jump past... I'm gonna check this better. Uh, baboon hogs do steal items, yes. 
Trippy Cat, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Thank you. Oh, no, this was just a dead end. Fuck this, man. I think we actually have to jump to get further. That's so annoying. I mean, I'm okay with jumps usually, but this jump is, like, right at a... freaking annoying place. And I just turn off the power as well. What's current quota? Like, 300-something? Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about! That shit happened to me at fucking... Uh, in the middle of the night. And it freaking scared the crap out of me. You hear that hay right there? What the fuck was that? This damn haunting, dude. Am I gonna walk into a mine? Yeah, that's what I meant when I said there's creepy sounds that I think only happen when you're walking around solo. It is fucking terrifying. Okay, so... Oh, I turned off this thing now. So now we can make this jump, even though it's a bit of a tricky jump. It's fine. Oh my god, so much fucking steam everywhere, but there's stuff there. It's a 50 V-type engine. That's pretty good. I want mostly small items, though. We're doing right wall strats first, so we can do left wall strats on the way back. Um, oh no. But there's the, the valves right here. No? There. I fucking hate these valves. Okay, right wall strats continue. Uh, there's a door room. It's gonna- we need to almost go here. Oh fuck, I wish I could go in there. Oh fuck. Okay, I am leaving. Fuck this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. We're doing left wall strats on the way back. This is a very terrible generation. Like, everything was so far away. Uh, and there could be, like, uh, an enemy right here. I guess I'll take this engine if we have, an, like, an extra time. Oh, there's also a key. I mean, I guess. There was a locked door somewhere, but I'm just gonna try and make it out of here now. Which we still might have to beat up some, some body for this. Uh, can I make this jump? I can. Let's go. Okay, so we could go at the fire exit, but the enter the main entrance is right around the corner here. Uh, don't step on the mine, though. Yeah, there's gonna be a giant camping on the ship. Just wait. This one is like 22. Yeah, fuck that. Because it's all right. we, we have the beehives. I'm just gonna focus on, on getting those beehives in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're way too late already. Fuck. Okay, I did. I. That's stupid. But we're gonna try to get back. Hopefully. Oh, no. Uh oh. It could be a bee or a, a giant like spawn on my ass here and just insta kill me. That'd be fun. Man, that was unlucky. Karma, thank you for the 30. I don't hear giant. I need to get past the bees too. I haven't seen many worms on Marsh. Hopefully. It stays that way. <laughs> okay. No giants yet. There's the beehive. Look at that ship. So peaceful. Oh, no. There's a giant right there. Isn't that a giant? That is totally a giant. Okay. Fuck. 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 Did he see me? Okay. He did not see me. Uh, we gotta go in the ship. planet all right fuck the other beehive i'm not doing that shit i can't i can't go back out man i'm gonna get killed so we're just gonna have one beehive this is why you don't want to stay out too long but we have a lot of money and i wish i could get that it's just gonna kill me though all right we're going we're going we're going we're gonna have to grab this beehive so this is how you do it you unless i get grabbed by the giant now which i hope is not gonna happen so you wait until you kind of leave is he gonna like keep me off the ship i think i might actually die here wait a minute do i go missing here can I clip back in? Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I think it automatically does that. Um, so you just grab it, and then you just get... But you saw how little time we had there to do that. Um, that. Why is it less... Oh, because the apparatus doesn't count. Um, wait, why isn't it showing me the value? There we go, 230. That's pretty good. Okay, we, wait, that's already quota almost? Okay, this is scary. Let's go to... Um, Offense is kind of... Yeah, we're not going to stormy thing. Uh, we'll go to offense. The, the main thing that you need to keep in mind about these planets, which is kind of annoying, 
um, is that they don't have easy access. Like, offense, pretty much everything except experimentation and march have, uh, I think Assurance, Vow, and Offense all have fire entrances that you can't get to without an extension ladder. Now, we could buy an extension ladder. Uh, I think you can get to the one in offense by jumping off the ship or something. I'm going to quickly scan. 17 objects. Can you? Wait, let's see. Yeah, this. Yeah, okay. I fucked that up. But you can get... You can jump on that pipe while the ship is landing to uh, to get to the fire escape. But I messed it up because I'm an idiot. But yeah, that's something that I've seen people do. But I haven't done it myself. But it is a cool strategy. Once you get good, that could be a nice way to do it. You can climb... Oh, can you just climb the ladder on Vow? Is that... There was one of the planets where you can climb the ladder. I don't know if that's this one. Is that this one? I think that is Vow. Right? Or maybe it's over there. I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to go in through the front entrance. Assurance has a ladder. How many objects were there? 17? Uh, no beehives or anything. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think there's... There might be some ladders around that I don't know about. I know there is one, I think, on Vow. Oh, that's immediate money. Um, that you can get into. We haven't seen too many enemies to beat up yet. Which I think is, like, part of the... The horror in this game is that there's not just always enemies rushing you all the time. There's, like, good suspense. Which is why the Brutal Company mod is so fun and silly. Like, it, it's... Oh, I'll take that, too. And that room... I'll, can we get in that room through there? I think that's safer. I'm gonna quickly grab this and jump back over. Don't fall into the endless pit of hell. I'm just being safe with this because I don't want to loot bug this. That is already 100. This is very good. Um, nice, dead as well. I mean, we have to... A clown horn? Insane spawn. My brother in Christ, what is this? Uh, 208? Don't mind if I do. Your RNG is so bad. Yeah, you can get unlucky. I'm just gonna try and quickly get around this without jumping. Yeah, unless this door is locked. Which it's not. It's always safer. Like, even no matter how pro you are, if you can just avoid jumping, why not avoid jumping? It, if it doesn't cost you a bunch of extra time. Can we take... Holy shit! It's the mother load? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go back already. This is so much stuff. Like, if, it would just be stupid to stick around for more. Uh, and if we have enough time, because the problem with Vow is that... or Oh, God. There's a loot bug. There's a loot bug. There's a loot bug. This is why this is why I'm not leaving it inside. We can totally kill the loot bug. Uh, I kind of want to try to kill the loot bug just to like try a strategy on how to fight them. I can mess the, this up so hard that we die here. Uh, but like you gotta learn. You gotta take risks so you can learn. Um, so oh god, okay. I'm not even going back for that kettle. Fuck that. I just want to scan this guy real quick. I want to scan both. Let me go. Oh, fuck yourself. I'm not going in there with a coil head, dude. There's one more kettle. I'll take my measly 322 instead of that, then. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> let's let's go. Fuck the, fuck the coil head, man. I'll just drop everything down. <laughs> Wait, this is only two trips anyway. So if I w were have to take the kettle, or would have taken the kettle... That would have added another trip for one thing. So that's not even that bad. That good anyway. I love this game. This game is like a, such a f breath of fresh air and like different types of co-op experience. Like I know I'm not playing it co-op right now. But that's, I think, which is why I initially was kind of concerned about this game. I think the, as strange as it sounds for me personally, the best co-op games have to be able to be played solo. And I don't know why that is for me, but it's because I don't always want to play with people. Sometimes I just want to play it by myself, and I just want to chill. 
and if the game is still good while you have those times where you want to get play chill and it, especially in a game like this where there's a lot of skill involved um like because it seems like at first when i saw this game i was like oh this is gonna have very little skill ex expression but there's so much more than you initially think there's like many different ways to fight the enemies there's different ways to um like you have to just know so many tricks about the terminals the items etc etc um and being able to practice that all solo without having like the pressure of needing to set up a group of people to all meet at the same time and play the game especially as a streamer where like everything becomes a collab instead of like it just being like you 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 message your friend hey can we just hang out for a bit like i have to go okay can we all agree to meet at this time and <laughs> like it's it's just uh, it's just a whole undertaking look at all this stuff man we're rich we're insanely rich could actually go back into oh no but there's a coil head never mind because <laughs> i'm gonna just get randomly coiled yeah we could go to titan we have so much extra spare cash as well because the fire escape is up there right we could try the fire escape for a second let's we could check the ladder at least if there's a ladder to go up just for exploration reasons right the company will be so pleased by me we're rich, we're rich. Uh, let's go, dude. We got so much stuff. How much is this all combined? That is 500 easy quota. We only have quota 200. I think what we're going to quickly do... I don't know if this is a good idea. Probably the answer is no. Uh, I want to see if we can find the fire escape. Like, if you can go up a ladder here just to learn a little bit more about offense. Because I don't know much about this map. I don't know if there is. I don't think so. I think you need it. Maybe? We'll see. Pretty sure it's not possible. Yeah, I don't think so either. <clears throat> the worms get you here? Oh, yeah, that's gonna suck. Yeah, I don't think you can get up this. So this is where the fire escape is. You have to either, like, ladder your way... I don't think you could even ladder this. You have to go, like... Maybe over there? You could ladder up here and then just like ladder your way across. Oh, or maybe there you could get up. I don't think you can jump that though. Obviously with a jetpack you can do that. Uh, so yeah, you would need a ladder here. I just wanted to check that out really quickly. I'm gonna get out before the worms come out. And then we have another full day to get our quota. Let's freaking go. Oh, to stuff, thank you for the super sub, thank you. The ladder needs a buff. I think the ladder is fine on, on Titan. I'm going to try the Titan ladder strat as well. And how much did we get? We definitely got quite a few items. Nine objects only left. I think there were like 17 at the start. So that is... Oh, look at that. I'm glad I came back in time. Because that right fucking there is a worm. <laughs> Fuck that shit. The worm, dude. We came in... We came back just in time. Is this going to be S rank? That was some pretty solid money right there. Uh, that I got. For her moment. <clears throat> Show me. 300 out of 600. That's just a beat. Man, they are, they get really, <laughs> they get really strict later on. We have one day. Can we go to March? March is flooded. Okay, we can go to Vow. Just, uh, or is it Ash? Which one? Vow or Ash has, the, I think Ash has the different way in. Uh, I think we should go. I think we go to ass. Uh, I really quickly need to go to the bathroom, so one sec.
go, baby. <coughs> Excuse me. I did that straight into the mic, I think. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty. Uh, we land. It's actually fun to explore these, like, uh, these planets that I haven't been on much. It's gonna be a little scary, though. All right. Assurance. Population abandoned. Conditions jagged and weather terrain. I don't really... I have not had much love for the Vow Assurance and Offense planet, so... Just going there a little more and checking them out, learning a bit about them. Uh, I feel like that's the least I can do. Because, obviously, these are planets in their own right, with lots of loot. 1,400, 16 objects. Uh, okay, on... This is Assurance, right? There's a shortcut on Assurance that I always miss. It's this way, right? So, Vow is the one, I think, with the ladder. Uh, you can go up here make your way across right yeah yeah it's right there look at that and then you need to get on that pipe again so this is very similar to oh is there be there's a beehive wait a minute uh we could take that i could just leave that here and bring this back already let's see because because we can just leave our shovel at the entrance which is where we need it anyway it's a bit of a long track but let's leave this here how much is it worth 109, that's totally fucking worth it. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of an operation because we need to take the long way around. I think with like four sprints, we might be able to do this. Go, 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 yeah, you can climb up this one. So, Assurance is the one with the ladder. You can get up there, then you have to jump on the pipe, and then you can go in the fire escape right there. Okay. So, Assurance actually might be the best one out of all of these type of planets, then, in my opinion. Um, go. You really don't want to take damage here if you... Oh, fuck. That sucks. I missed it because I took a weird route because the rock was in the way. We'll be fine. Uh, Jennifer, thank you for the 10-year donation. Thank you. Fuck, I took a one hit, but that's fine. Okay, it's already there. Oh, we need to scan the birds. Yeah, there we go. Got birds. I thought that was a giant that just spawned in my face. Uh, all right, we need... Uh, where am I even going to drop this one? I have no idea. I haven't thought about that part yet. I've just thought about the part where I bring it back. Uh, I think we drop it. Right there, let's go. Okay, that's totally fine. Is that the only way up? Uh, cause that, no, we can get up here as well. Okay, easy peasy. Look at that, nice. Beehive acquired. Uh, time to actually explore. <laughs> I mean, that's already a hundred bucks. That already makes this mission successful. Like if you early on get like an average of 200 per mission, you're going pretty solid. Later on, you need to get way more, but you also need to kind of go to Titan to get way more. Especially when playing solo. I think the reason that Titan is so good... Let's grab this as well. Might as well. Um, the reason Titan is so good solo is because bringing the loot back on Titan is like the best out of all the planets. Because you can just drop them all the way down from the top. Um, and just have it at the ship immediately. Whereas on planets like this, you have to walk super far. Not only is there less loot, same with Dine and Rent because the entrance is so far. Dine, I think, is better because usually there's like a fire. Or the oh god, Jesus! Oh god, no, no, no! Oh fuck, 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 dude, that almost fucking killed me, man. I couldn't get on that freaking railing, dude. Okay, that was a bit of a disaster. Goddamn thumper right at the entrance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, that's the stuff that can happen. Uh, you gotta be prepared. That's why you have the shovel. <laughs> yeah, the die dying fire exit plus shovel combo is insanely useful to know. If you've never tried that, we might do that later here. If we don't have enough money to go to Titan or Titan gets some clips or something. Oh, fucking hell. It just came out of there. Ugh, I hate this place already. Wait, where did just... Oh, okay, perfect. Just stay there forever, sir. I'll add you to my bestiary and I'll just leave you there because I'm never going to come there. I don't think they move, do they? Did they just stay in the area forever? I think here because we have so much stuff. If I... Oh, maybe I'm taking a risk here. I could totally lose here. 
because I'm like sticking around with no HP, which is a bad idea. If there's like a yeah, okay. Uh, can I get my shovel? That's a key. It's not gonna get me. It's not gonna kill me. So that's really important to know. I think as far as single player goes, the snare flea just cannot kill you, no matter what. Even if you're at critical health state, they will get on your head and got off. There was the, uh, I talked about this earlier, but it was, the people were literally messaging me about it. There was like this, and I'm not saying this to shame the person who did the, I'm not, I don't even remember who it was, but there was like some uh, streamer on Twitter that was like, I found a new strategy on how to deal with snare fleas. This is gonna revolutionize uh, Lethal Company forever. And it was them just like shaking their mouths really fast. And then the, the snare flea let go and they were like, holy shit. I just invented a new way to make the snare flea go off my head, which is not at all true. It's just because they were playing solo. And on solo, the snare flea always lets go before killing you. That's just how they work in single player. Um, and then some rando went on the wiki and they edited... What the fuck? Fuck you. Some rando went on the wiki to edit the wiki to add that as like... This is a new strategy found by this streamer and like the wiki immediately got changed back to no, 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 that's not a strategy. I'm not trying to be elitist or anything, but like it's just complete misinformation. And the problem with that type of misinformation is that it like spreads extremely quickly because it goes like viral in like a, a TikTok post or something. And then suddenly there were literally like people commenting on all my videos, people messaging me on Discord like, hey, have you seen this yet? And I'm like, and I'm having to explain to every single person individually, no, this is not how that works. <laughs> oh god, there's loot bugs as well. Fuck this. Oh, I hate it here. Stay away, stay away, stay away. I don't want to deal with you. Oh no. I can't kill you with this low health. Is it because I have loot? Take the key. You can take the key if you want. Stop following me. Eat shit, dude. I think I have to go. Wait, did they change magnifying glass? Why can't I see? Ah! I forgot about that guy. But see, he can't kill you. It's all fine. You don't have to worry about those guys in solo. Oh, fuck you. Wait, you dickhead? I need to go that way, though. Don't I? Don't I need to go that way? Can I just run past him? I'm pretty sure I have to. Okay, well, um, here we go. Oh, he didn't even fall, dude. Okay, I think... Oh, yeah, this is where I killed that guy. I think we're gonna go. Uh, this has not been the best mission I've ever done, uh, to say the least. But I also don't want to die, and I already had a beehive anyway. Uh, and it's 4 p.m. Dude, I didn't even realize how, uh, how late it was already. I'm gonna leave these keys here. Okay, we need to go. We might actually die to worm here. Um... Go, go, go. I didn't realize how late it was. I guess because we spent so much time on the beehive already. So my strategy, if this is gonna happen, with the... If I hear Worm, I'm gonna drop my item and sprint the opposite way. Because I've heard that is the best strategy on how to deal with it. Because they will kind of predict where you're going. So they will try to go up in front of you. So if you go backwards, it tends to avoid them easier. Yeah, we also might have to be quiet because there could be dogs as well. I weigh 69 pounds. Nice. I don't want to get wormed. I'm just saving my sprint. I'm literally just walking. The beehive is still there. No oh, enemy. Is that a fucking giant? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, sir. I'm out of here. Save the stuff. 
Uh, we need to be careful of the bees. I need to recharge that later. Go, go, go. How much did we get? I don't know how much we got, but we got a little bit. Uh, send me out. And then we need to grab the beehive from outside again. So the bees go away, you see, like that. And then you grab beehive. You will also get teleported back in, or you can just walk back in. And boom! Beehive collected. How much is that? That is a lot of money, I think. That was a good round. I mean, like, staying alive. I mean, like, we, we ran into a lot of adversity there, and we still survived. Um, zero dice. It was only a B. And the 700! Wait, we're gonna get so much money here, because we already have 600. Okay, so I don't even necessarily need to sell everything here, but if we sell it all, we're gonna get enough overtime bonus, I think, to go to, like, two big planets, which, um, like, if I were playing solo or a uh, multiplayer... What you need to get always is the teleporter. Teleporter is like the most important thing ever uh, when you're playing multiplayer because you will lose so much of your money every day. Uh, well, like every quota if people keep dying. So being able to teleport them back in is very important because it's literally like someone being dead on the ship at the end of the match is equally valuable as someone making it back without anything. It doesn't matter. Like, if someone doesn't have loot, then they're pretty much equally worth worthless as a dead body, which is kind of fucked up, but it is what it is. Okay, we're at the company. Well, is the zap gun on sale? It literally doesn't do anything single player, but the TZP inhalant is also off. You know what? I'll buy one TZP just to try it maybe on, like, a beehive at one point. Uh, that could be fun. Um... Anything else that's on sale? The zap... I'm not gonna buy a zap gun. Solo, it doesn't do anything. Uh, table... We can buy fun stuff later. Let's just land. And sell all this stuff. There's so many things, dude. I need to make sure to grab the... Let's put this away. Because the stuff is gonna arrive incredibly fast here. Uh, me... There, it's already here. Let's just get it. So, I don't, like, the TZP and Halen, I feel like they need to buff it. In my, maybe it's, like, would be too strong if they buff it. But it's so expensive as well. Like, if the TZP and Halen was cheaper, I think it might be alright. But because it's so expensive, and it basically blinds you, like, being super fast while being blind is, like, world's most useless superpower. It doesn't do anything. It's like being able to fly while you can't see shit. You're just gonna get yourself killed. Um, so I, I, I would like to see some items slightly changed. Or just maybe like the modding community can do something about it, right? make that jump if you make it cleanly. Oh boy. If you do it like wait how the I did that so consistently before. I think you can jump on this and then walk in as well. Yeah, there you go. Maybe that's the faster way. There you go. Boom. And then you walk in. Yeah, but you can miss the stairs sometimes. <clears throat> Alrighty, sir. Open the thing. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna just sell everything again. What I think after this quota, once you go to Titan once and you have enough money to go to Titan, like, literally everything... Like, obviously, the game right now, at, like, a high level, is a little repetitive to a point. Keep the company happy. See, you just gotta click until you open. Sometimes it takes a long time. Um, because the Titan is just so much better than every other planet in the game. 
So what I think they should do is add, like, better planets beyond Titan. Like, uh, planets where you can loot even faster. Um, there's, by the way, there's a rare voice line where he says, this, these walls cannot contain me. Uh, which is kind of terrifying. So, I wonder what the lore is of this place, right? You have this giant cage, basically, and we're just feeding him. Like, is this company's task just to, like, contain this one, like, huge SCP or something? Um, but yeah, once they add more planets, and I feel like it's gonna only be a little bit of time before the modding community is gonna, like, figure out how to make, make new planets and stuff. Like, it's gonna be so fun. Like, the fact that this game already has, like, 500 mods after a month of it being out is just... is nuts. It's so great. Yeah, oh yeah, and there's a new update coming this week somewhere, right? Or... That's gonna be fun, too. Like, a new monster? I mean, some of the mods are very simple, but there's 900 mods, actually. Uh, is it... Look at that huge overtime bonus. Uh, let's go, by the way. Uh, now it's 300, which is still totally doable. And we have 1,400, as I said. Can I please go to Titan? I can totally go to Titan. Okay, first day on Titan. Now, I am... Oh, if I want to buy an extension ladder, which is... I really want to try the extension ladder strategy. So I'm going to do it if uh, that means I can only go to... Oh, wait, what? How? How? What? It's perfectly on sale to be at the exact amount of money that I have above 700? What the fuck? <laughs> that is insane. Alright, let's go, dude. <laughs> that is some insane RNG, dude. Actually rigged. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I could very much die here, because Titan is absolutely terrifying when playing solo. Um, it's not- there's no weather at all, right? Give me my- give me my ladder. I want to try this. I might mess it up initially. So basically, you bring this ladder all the way to the top. I need to scan as well. I want to see how much there is. Uh, and then you put it, like, in a specific way, and then you drop stuff from the ladder, and it'll be right in front of the ship. 26, 3,000 is not the highest Titan I've ever seen. I think the highest Titan in, like, base game I've ever seen is 5,500, but it's really rare. I've seen as low as, like, 2,000, though, so definitely, definitely in the mid middle. You can get, like, some bullshit to happen on Titan, though, where there's, like, giants that spawn to the top of the, of the planet and just kill you instantly, which happened on, like, one of my best runs ever, which is just very annoying. So, you basically, you drop it right here. You drop the ladder, like, right there, and you go to the end, and you drop items off of it. That is kind of the strategy. Let's see. There's going to be coil huds and stuff here, jesters, all kinds of shenanigans, which is going to suck. Uh, so, you want to try and fight as much stuff early as possible. Uh, there's a soda. I'll take that. Because the sooner you have stuff out, the better. Because there's just, like, there's a point where you just have to evacuate on tide. Like, you'll just be dealing with a coal head or something, and you can't really stick around too much. Uh, that's a painting. I'm gonna leave that there for a sec, because I'm thinking on the way back. Oh, no. There's another thing. Like, because that makes, uh, because Titan is so nice. Is there anything here? There's so much stuff, dude. Ah! Fuck. See? This is what I'm talking about. Some, I, some... Oh, fuck you. Some enemies you just gotta evacuate immediately. I think I can get this both. I'm gonna try. Can I? Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, maybe not a bad idea. Go. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to do that for some reason. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave this stuff here for now. Uh, and take this back. So first you drop it. So this basically. So you drop it right here. Um, that's the first level. I, I can't stay in there for now. I, I'll go in through the fire escape. And then you pick it up. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Right. You drop it like that. Um, and then you get on the ladder. Which is a little spooky. But... And then you just drop it right here. 
Now you have to obviously be careful because the ladder is gonna retract, so you might have to pick it up and set it again. Um, I think I'm doing that right. I don't know. Maybe I did it a little too much to the left here. I might have done it a little too much to the left. We'll see. Uh, can I go back in? How long does the guy stay active? Does anyone know? Can I go into the fire escape here? 30 seconds? It just resets immediately when you left? 10 seconds once you leave. Okay. There's a lamp. That's huge. Okay, I'll just... I mean, I'll take this. This is amazing loot right now. Uh, what? Just drop this outside for loot bugs. Quickly want to check some more rooms, man. Titan, you, you can see what I'm talking about, right? When I say Titan is like so the best map of all time. It's actually busted. It's also like the most dangerous, of course. So the chance of you just randomly dying is high. Um, I'm gonna quickly check this, see if there's just anything. Something just went into the vent. Did you hear that? Fucking terrifying. I'm gonna drop this here for a sec. Uh, I don't like that. No mines and anything? And then I step on a mine. Comedic timing. This game is like programmed comedic timing into it somehow. Like, I don't know how it works, but you'll just be saying something and then it'll do the complete opposite of what you want every single time. <laughs> Like, it just listens to your mic, so when it hears, like, uh, the word coil head, you'll just randomly explode by coil head sometimes. Oh, I'm not going in. Nah, maybe. I think that's stupid. Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you. I was streaming so early because... Oh, God. I might have to leave. Okay, I'm leaving because this is already lots of stuff. Um, I have an appointment in the evening. So I can't stream then. So I thought I'd stream early. Okay, this is already lots of stuff and it's 2 p.m. I think I'm going to bring this back just to see if this is now, if I'm doing this right. Or if I messed this up. Uh, and obviously this is more than enough on one trip. We have three more. Now you have to keep in mind that Titan might get eclipsed. Uh, so you can actually just jump all the way down. I don't think it is possible to take that much fall damage. Like, you can only take up to a certain amount of fall damage, so you can just jump all the way from the top and jump down. It doesn't even put you in critical, I think. Okay, so I did do some of this wrong. Okay, so I did basically all of this wrong. Okay, so I need to aim it a little bit more to the right. But, I mean, this is still close, but it is not uh, in the right spot. So you need to aim it more to the right. But I just, I mean, this is the first time I'm trying this out. Uh, it's definitely way uh, faster than just taking it all down the stairs one by fucking one. But yeah, you can make that. I've, I've jumped all the way from the top of Titan. It's... You gotta just trust in the system. You'll, like, what I like to do is just say to someone, like, you wanna see something fun, and then I just jump from the top of the place, and I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd he go? Just to, uh, mess with him. I need to be careful. There might be dogs soon. Oops. There were like two more big items, which is... Oh, God. No dogs, please. So the giants and dogs, you have to keep in mind, can actually get on the... Um, on the stairway here. So it's not safe or anything. You gotta be careful. All right, that was pretty solid. How much is that? Day one, 500. That is like as much as it costs to go here, basically. We have made that. But once again, so that is our quota. Um, we have to keep in mind that the weather might get fucked up here so that when we leave and we come back later, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be eclipsed and then we can't go. So you need to try and get as much out of your Titan visits as possible. Cause you might not, there were two lamps. Did I miss a lamp? Ah, uh, whatever. I missed maybe something. Um, let's see. What grade is that gonna be? It's probably gonna be stinky grade. Be bees, though. That's not too bad. Um, how is it doing? You need to wait until it says that. Days left. Okay, we can go back, right? Yeah, we can totally go back. Nice. That is... It, 
it is like to a point right now with the way the game works at least from my understanding it is pretty like rel reliant like how far you can make it is a little too much reliant on your w weather rng on titan like if you just get eclipsed titan over and over again uh, I need to charge it. There's just actually no way you can possibly get very far. Um, because Steiner's just that good. Yeah, Eclipse Titan, you can, but I would... I don't think Eclipse Titan... Maybe with a jetpack, you might be able to do it somewhat reliably. Like, you can take all the small items back, but the dogs are just gonna fuck you up. I don't think Eclipse Titan is the way to go. There's a mod that makes monsters follow you outside. That seems like a fucking stupid idea. Uh, I need to leave the... Oh my god, well... I need to leave the ladder here. So we need to place it more like that then. Right? Hopefully that'll work. We'll test. We, we keep trying this until we figure it out. That's how you learn. You learn by doing. Okay, don't kill me immediately, please. I have so much to do for. I love in Titan a lot of the time, like this. There's just, in these random stairways, there'll just be items. Did I just see a coil head or am I? What the fu- Oh, it's Steve. Okay. I, th I thought that was a coil head. The fuck, dude? Can I pull that valve? Okay, let's get the crap out of me. I'm gonna check this out. Please don't kill me. Uh, there's another thing. I'll take this. Hey, so let's go on. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Come over here, sir. Come over. I'm gonna cheese your ass. I'm not gonna walk backwards because I'm probably gonna mess it up and then get stuck. Uh, could you come over here? Hello? What are you looking at? They're kind of cute in like the most fucked up way possible. Can I drop this here? They have like these little googly eyes. Can I sprint up there and jump? I can't do that as well. I think I'm gonna do that instead. Okay, so it's following me now, which means we can... Oh my, yeah, there we go. Okay, you can jump up here and then kill it that. terrifying even when they're dead they're scary but that's the same thing with actual spiders though okay well that's one of the monsters that's good okay there's not much more here that was kind of pointless there's a friendly guy spore lizard that's totally fine uh i'm gonna leave this here as a little breadcrumb trail for my way back because we know we're gonna have to go up there not seeing anything Oh, baby, that could be so much stuff in here. There is too many big items, but two toothpaste as well. I'll take that. Wait, which one of these? That's 70? That's 120 for the freaking painting, man. Okay. And this is rather... There's so many big items. That's a bit annoying. Um, Where was it? Is it that way? It is this way because my breadcrumb show. Look at that. So I'm going to just... I don't... I guess I leave this here for a sec. This is literally, like, super close. It's a friend! It's a friend! It's a friend! Fine. Can I scan you? Let's go. This is right where the exit is, right? I need to be careful of coil heads. They could be coming out of anywhere. Okay, good shit. Let's go. That's already... 200. You need to, oh wait, I could move this outside. You need to make use of these, like the rare times you can actually go to Titan, you need to try and get as much as you can. I mean, it's not necessarily rare to be able to go to Titan, but there's definitely gonna be times where you can't because of stupid RNG. Uh, okay, so we can take the, I guess we could take more big items, but I kind of want to see if I can find more small ones. Way to go down there does not is there another way that connects from here i guess i'll take the big thing here this is like 70 uh and then i'll just leave the two engines here let's go back what the fuck sir 
You having a you having a giggle? The crap. That's terrifying. <laughs> I hate those noises, man. Those type of sounds are happening like so much more in solo than they happen to me in multiplayer. I don't know if that's I think that is a mechanic. Alright, we're gonna quickly check the fire escape. That's not girl related at all. It's just some her her her. Um, oh, coffee mug. Oh, every time it. You, every time I walk in there, I think that there's a monster right behind me, because it sounds like there's heavy footsteps. Oh, what? Wait, is it right there? Okay. Okay, dude. You see this fucking spawn here? What a scam. That's the entrance. God damn, that's unlucky. It is what it is. Okay, 2 p.m. We can still get some more. Um, a little bit. We can go this way. Oh, that's the big room. Wait, this is huge. Wait, that's huge to the point where I think I'm gonna leave this here. Because I... I don't hear any monster right now. And then I can just quickly grab the stuff from here. Oh, wait, there's nothing in here? It's sometimes you get so unlucky with this room, and other times it has like 17 items. It's so fucked. It is what it is. Insane scam. Uh, okay. Make this jump. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Don't do that. Okay, it's 3 p.m. We might have to go now. I think, I think for this early of a quota, we should still play it safer. Like, later on, we're gonna have to just go ham with this. But right now, we can still, uh... Like, go back relatively early and have enough. Obviously, because we are already over quota and it's only day two. <laughs> so let's see if we can do this properly this time. The trick with the ladder, because I fucked it up last time. Uh, run. So we... Let's, let's grab stuff. Okay. And then I'll grab the big one. So then we place it right there. I think that is good. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. If this doesn't work, then we'll learn. Okay, I'm just gonna do it again every time because it only lasts like 20 seconds. Cool. Might be too much to the left. I feel like that's a lot to the right. Wait, does it not never wait, does it never retract while you're on it? Wait, it didn't even make the noise that time. What the fuck? Wait. Interesting. It does? Okay, but it didn't make a noise. Okay, so I still fuck! I still barely messed it up there. God damn, but it's close enough to the point where I can just do this. Uh, but still. I well, I wanna get better. Fucking send it, man. I don't care about that lamp. Go fuck your lamp. Get me out. I right, there's the lady as well. Fuck this shit. Okay, goodbye. 
<laughs> I shouldn't get everything, but whatever, man. That's 870. <laughs> That's enough for me. Okay, that. so that was... What time was that? That was like 5? That was a little too late, apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> this game is scary. Whew. Goodbye, lamp. It was like only lamp and one other thing, I think. What, what rank was that? I didn't even see it. Um, we have one more day. Is Titan still fine? Titan is stormy. So I would say going to Titan when it's stormy is not the play. Like, obviously. Because it's extreme. It was a C. Okay, so I fucked up. Uh, we're going to go to March here. Just get a little bit more. And we don't, because we don't even need more to get quota. Like, we already have double. Um, and we already have our next Titan trip. Hey, Jojo, what's up? Um, is anything on sale? You should keep checking this every now and then. Um, oh, so I'll buy a... No, I don't, I won't, won't, don't buy a walkie-talkie. But uh, there's like a strategy. Uh, let me land. That's pretty good uh, with the walkie-talkie. Where basically you see how the the, ener the electricity bar has 150 zero, exactly where the zero is. Um, so the walkie-talkie drains battery while it's on. If you turn it on as soon as the mission starts, it is pretty much a, a, a perfect timer of the mission length. Now, obviously because I have a modded mission length that might not be as useful, but on default, if you're at the zero, that means it is like the leaving time. So you can use it as like a like a sundial in a weird way. You can use the walkie-talkie as like a little, um, a little time measurement, which is kind of cool. Like because you can't see the time while you're inside, right? So if you see it get late, uh, eighteen hundred—that's huge. You can you can get out on time, which I've been failing at miserably. So there's like that's the thing with this game, right? You think at first like. Oh, everything is so simple. Uh, there's not that many mechanics. We know from Phasmo that games are that are well designed have so many more little tricks up their sleeve than you think. And that is like another example of just little tricks. Like you can use things in multiple ways. <laughs> yeah, hey Jojo, hope you're having a good time. I'm super early today because uh, I have dinner with Tom Clancy tonight. Or <laughs> With the, the Twitchio tonight. Which is gonna be wild. It's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> it's gonna be... Dan Classy, sorry. I was like, uh, Tom is not the name. Uh, I messed it up. I, I need to know this. Thank you guys for advising me. Because I need to have this right tonight. <laughs> it's Six Siege. Yeah, I was like... One of the names is wrong. It's either clan. Actually, the Clancy part sounded more wrong to me because I was like, "Isn't there? Isn't that related to Rainbow Six Siege or something?" <laughs> oh, the room, the juicy room. So there's like 18 objects on here. This could be. This could be spicy, uh, unless it's all locked. But I don't think this matters. Never mind. I thought that was an enemy. Wait, there's two huge ones. This is awesome. But yeah, so I have uh, dinner with the Twitchio tonight because he is coming to Amsterdam literally out of nowhere. So the the person that I talked to at Twitch here, who's like a Dutch partner manager or something, he was like, yeah, I have to get like 10 streamers together randomly uh, and I would love you to be there. And I was like, yeah, let's go, dude. So there's like 10 streamers coming. I have no idea who the other streamers are. But there's just 10 Dutch streamers that are going to be uh, coming out. Oh, no! It's our first Bracken. It's our first Bracken. That means we are going to die. This is a disaster. Uh, I don't think I should really stick around for much longer. Because Brackens just fucking end your life randomly. Um, like, they are absolutely fucked. I think I'm going to take a fire exit. I'm just going to take back already what I have here. Because it's basically a full inventory. And then we're going to... Uh, we're gonna go in through one of the fire escapes and hopefully Bracken's not gonna be there. Otherwise, it's gonna be fucked up. It's worse than Jester's. I mean, Jester's are really not a big deal at all. Jester's are easy peasy. I am not the biggest Dutch streamer. Especially when you, like, consider I don't even speak Dutch on my stream. <laughs> Yeah, Bracken will end my life. 
Oh, there's a beehive! Wait, we can take that instead. It's only one, though. The sound of the gesture is just etched into my brain. That's like, danger, danger, run. Yeah, the flower guy. He's, I mean, I just call him Bracken. Let's go. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not too much, but there's a beehive here, right? Yeah, they're right there. We should just pick that up right now. Uh, and then go back in, because you cannot possibly do beehives once there's enemies here. How much is it worth? Is it even worth it? Uh, I mean, it's fine. I'll take it. It's so close to the base already. Uh, what I've found, well, like from my experience, I don't know if this is like the case. I can't pick it up like that. It's like on a hill. That's annoying. Um, if you have one beehive worth a certain value, pretty much every beehive... Why is it lagging suddenly? Every beehive on a map has like the same value for some reason. What the fuck is with this lag? I can't pick up this shit, man. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, I'm scammed. Well, okay, I got it. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm gonna drop it there. There's just too many beats. Okay, it's fixed. I don't, this, does this happen to other people? I have like an insane computer and just sometimes randomly my game will start lagging like that and then it's fine again. It's really weird. I don't know why it happens because I thought it happens when you like load in a map or something. But that doesn't seem to be the case, so... Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna go back in. Into a fire escape real quick. It happens to you twice. It happens to me, like, all the time. Like, on every planet. Not just this one or anything. 2 p.m.? 4 p.m. is when the giants come out, right? Seed lag? The fog? Like, I wonder if you could change the settings or something to make that better. Maybe you need a new computer. Yeah, let's get another new computer. Uh, no coil heads, please. That's, like, that's the one thing I really despise about, um, about Titan, is that sometimes you'll just go in the main entrance, there will be a coil head. What the fuck? Uh, and then you'll go into the fire escape. There will also be a coil head, coil head. And then you're like, well, guess I'm fucked. And then you just have to leave. There is one thing. Because the coil heads are... The coil heads are way more... Yeah, I don't know what was the, the, the third. Coil heads are way more game ending than a jester. Jester, you just like go... Fuck this guy! Get Wait, where am I going? Oh, fuck. Wait, I'm lost. I'm lost. Wait, this is the turret. We are right here. Is it a oh, fuck. There's a freaking number! Ah! You can't shoot. Yeah, you can! They're shoot up? Wait, I thought the turret could only shoot in a straight line. <laughs> Wait. I thought he couldn't shoot up like that. Okay, well, I learned something. <laughs> he shot through all the floor and everything okay we should be fine because we have double quota and we're gonna only lose half this is just gonna be complete rng so it can shoot up it can't shoot down it can only shoot up what a scam okay please tell me we get lucky enough with the items it looks like we kept some big ones i think we have enough okay we do so that was that is why uh <laughs> I have that one mod where you only lose half, which I think is like, this should be, in my opinion, default for uh, solo, which is why I've just been accepting this as the solo uh, default setup. The solo otherwise is just like unplayable because like one single mistake is just like, well, I guess I start from a hundred, because this quotas ramp up so slow that you have to go through all those early slow quotas again to get to the... To the f not necessarily the fun part. I like the early quotas too, but the late game quotas get so exciting because there's like all the um, like you go to those crazy freaking planets, which is a lot of fun. I think the mod that does the coin flip is called Lethal Company Enhanced. 
I think it's called Lethal Company Enhanced. Like, oh, hello, you're already opening? I still got one more thing for you, sir. What are you doing? You don't want this? I'm scared of that guy. Nice, 300, open the- work is invaluable to the company. Your work is bad, but that was only 300, man. Wait, we, we did actually do it, right? Did we? Okay, yeah, that was actually like barely enough. Goodness gracious, that was way closer than I expected. Okay, so even going to Titan twice there, we almost missed our quota just by a single death. That was a 126 value lamp. That's a very fucking fancy lamp, dude. Um, okay, so we have 900, which is more than enough. We're getting the heck out of here. We also need to buy um, our shovel and pro flashlight again. Do we have anything on sale? Walkie talkies off. Extension ladder we keep. Pro. I'll just buy pro and a shovel. I don't think I have to buy two. Wait, is that gonna land here now? It should land on the next planet, right? Otherwise, I'll just lose it, I guess. That's a turbo fancy lamp. Are we gonna get some? We should get some overtime. A, little, <laughs> a single dollar overtime? I think I, the highest overtime bonus I've ever had was like 266, I think. It was crazy. Uh, Titan is fine again. We're going straight back, baby. Uh, it lands here. I mean, oh, it, should, it should land on the next strip, I think. Hopefully. Okay, 500 now, which is getting... Getting more tricky now to get these quotas. What was my highest record ever? 1,300 uh, while playing solo. 1,300 quota. We, we need to try the offense jump more, yeah. But I'm gonna go to Titan now, because we're in that part of the game. It's the spicy part. All right, good, let's scan real quick. I wanna know. I just want, I like the, I like knowing how crazy the planet is. Okay, so th this is one of the worst spawns <laughs> uh, I think I've seen on Titan. I think 2400 was the lowest I've ever seen. So yeah, this is gonna be Probably just take as much as we can in the early rooms and then go, because going in deep is not going to be worth it very much if there's not that many items. But we'll see. Will they change about the day lengths? The days are just slightly longer, uh, because while you're playing solo, you're wasting so much time, like going back and forth. You're on you're the only one walking around, right? There's no teammates or anything. So we're gonna put this like this, I guess. That's like pretty much straight almost. How much longer? I think it's like 25% longer. Okay, I hear no enemies. That fucking turret, man. That turret, damn, ruined my day. I was doing totally fine. We were... That was our first death display through, right? Toothpaste? That's a high value toothpaste. I've never seen it be that high. It's just, that's the other side of the toothpaste. Okay, that's a lot of uh, small stuff. I'm just gonna drop... Oh no, that's the one I want to keep. Uh, just freaking. Oh god, don't be here, sir. I should. What the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck, dude? Holy shit! <laughs> fucking came out of the vent, man. Terrifying. <laughs> that shit is scary as hell. Oh yeah. That actually <laughs> my heart, man. Goddamn heart attack. Yeah, how does that big thing come out of a tiny vent? Explain this to me. Yeah, at least we had a we had a thing right there. I'm just gonna drop that out there. That's already 140. Nice. I did watch the video of Northern Lion and his friends playing this. It's crazy. Like when Northern Lion plays a game, you know it's gone like full on mainstream. Well, I guess in terms of horror games, I should say, because <laughs> he never played Phasmo. He never like plays any, usually any popular horror games. Uh, I think is, I'm not necessarily saying that it's because he's scared. It's just not his type of thing. Ah! Shit. 
bitch. Fuck you. Um, so yeah, it's fun to see. It's fun to just see everyone loving it, man. Like, call me McDonald's because I'm loving it. Like, everyone is just having a blast with this game. No matter what genre they usually play. It's just been universal. Uh, I, I'm gonna get lost in here. Who's playing the game? Pretty much every single streamer under the sun has been playing this game. Which is cool to see. Obviously, not everyone's gonna keep playing it for long. Uh, I'm definitely gonna... It's gonna be, like, a mainstay when it comes to, like, checking out all the updates. I'm gonna be... Trying to do is, like, explore everything. Trying to get better. Like, I'm still not nearly, like, the best I can be. Like, there's so many little things you can learn about. Uh, what the fuck is this layout? Okay. So I have to be careful. What the fuck? Do I hear the apparatus? Like, fighting monsters and stuff I can get a whole lot better at. This is like, yeah, I think this is... G it's bigger than Phasmo. Like, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard... Like, can someone look it up on SteamDB what the highest concurrent players was? But someone said that the highest concurrent player count was 170,000. That would be 30,000 higher than Phasmo's ever got. That's pretty wild, because Phasmo was, like, a huge deal when that went viral. Over 190k. So it's, like, significantly more viral than Phasmo. That's crazy. Um, 184 was the peak. Okay. Yes, because, like, you don't realize that. Oh, God. I'm so lost in the sauce, man. I think I'm going to die. I'm just, like... I'm losing it. Okay, we got, we got many things. Can I get the fire escape here? <gasps> um, I think it's up. Fuck you. Eat shit. Eat balls. Is that more expensive? That's way more expensive. Uh, could the fire escape just be here, please? Oh, man. There's so much stuff I really want to... I really want to get out. Oh, man. I can't go that way. I gotta go the long way back. That sucks. Um, I think I could leave... I shouldn't leave anything, because if I if I leave something and then I have to have my flashlight... Like, this is already so much. Because this, this is a, a perfect example of, um, like, where multiplayer would just be so much better. Because you could, like, do this together. And then you could, like, take all that stuff that I just had to leave behind because of limitations of inventory. You could take that. Um, I think it was in here somewhere, right? It was in the tunnel network? Oh, no. Yeah, that way? Oh, fuck. Can I not jump on this? Yeah, I can. Alright, sir, could you come over here? I'm not gonna leave, because I'm just gonna die to you later down the line. Sir, see me. He can't fucking hear me, dude. He's got AirPods in. Come on. I guess I could bait him and then jump on this. Yes. Fuck. I mean, I guess I could... Is this the way out? This is not the way out. Okay, I guess I can bait him. This is scary, though. That is scary! Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Which, by the way, very important to know. Extremely important to know you can jump on these specific uh, ledges. Because sometimes you'll run into a thumper in the tunnel network and have no... Uh, like, ledge to jump on, so it's really important to then know that you can do that. So, another little tip from me to you, totally for free. Um, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's where we killed the... Oh, uh, this... I'm gonna die. Fuck shit, piece of garbage. Jerome, thank you for the donation. Oh god, where am I, dude? Get me the hell out of here. I think this is the exit. Okay, this was not the best. It's also super late, I think. <laughs> Fuck you, dickhead! <sighs> Goodness gracious. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Okay, uh, it is far too late. The lag has arrived. 
I don't know. This is gonna suck. Come on, come on. Come on. We only have small stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, we're gonna try this, hopefully correct this time. I'm doing it like basically full on straight here almost. Right? And then you drop it at the edge. And we pick everything up. Drop it again. I don't know if this is good. And it's already so late, there's gonna be dogs and everything down there. I'm not gonna jump because I could just run into a dog. I'm just gonna slowly walk. And I might have to be super quiet here. Get ready. Go, dude. That was easy. Okay, so I still fucked it up, but that was close. That was almost there. You gotta, like, I think I just need to drop it further at the end. That was my mistake there. Okay, let's leave before the monsters come out. How much did I? Oh, there wasn't that much anyway, right? Wait, I actually got decent hull. Okay. <laughs> For the amount of stuff uh, that was on the planet in the first place. Let's hope Titan stays alright. Um, how much is that? That's 300. It's not too bad. Uh, 500 is the quota, so... I mean, the thing is, if we die, we are starting to get into, like, really dicey territory. Um, <clears throat> please tell me it's a bee. As long as I can get bees, man. I mean, in both beehives as well as in grade, I'm fine. So, Titan is foggy, which is actually pretty shitty. But I think I'm gonna take it, because it's just gonna be so much loot. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to Titan. And we'll see. 3,800. That's a bit more laggy, baby. Okay, so it's gonna be very dark. Uh, I need to take the essential ladder again. Almost forgot. Hopefully, we'll get a lamp. Oh no, this will totally be fine. There's a, a really cool mod that I kind of wanna. I didn't ap apply it here because I. I wanted to keep this, like, as vanilla as is reasonable. Um, there's a mod where you get multiplied loot for different weathers, which I think should be base game. I mean, maybe... I don't know, because it could lead you to feeling like going to a, a planet with no weather is, like, bad. But it is very strange that you don't get any extra cash. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I guess I could do that, too. That you don't get any extra money from uh, going to like an eclipsed planet, right? But something like Foggy would be a little cheesy if you could get extra money from just Foggy. Oh my God. I guess I'll take the key, just see more out there. Don't you make these creepy noises. I'm not a fan. Okay, that's good shit. Yeah, but at, like, at the very least, Eclipse should give you more than usual. I think that's, like, that's the least they can do. Because sometimes you'll go to, like, Eclipse Titan, and you'll, like, oh my god. And you'll, like, get 15, <laughs> you'll get, like, 2400, and you're, like, why the fuck am I here? This shit is an absolute scam. 
Okay, this is a great spawn for me right now. It's already 300. And in combination with like, I wanted to uh, use the random mod, like obviously, cause that's like the mod I commissioned myself. <laughs> um, where you go to a random planet by typing like random on the terminal. Um, okay, this is not the right plan or not the right room for the apparatus. And I think that could be really cool in combination with that. Oh, nice. Uh, spider time. I have a really long hallway here. Let's go, dude. Easy peasy, get shit on. Uh, so that's how you fight them. You just need to make sure, because I've made this mistake so many times. You need to make sure that you have a hallway that is long enough to support a kite like that. Uh, and that there's no fucking mines on the way. Because I've, like, fallen off things before or, <laughs> like, walked into a mine while doing that. This is a lot of stuff, man. This is insanity. Uh, can we go in there? Do we, I need to grab at least this, like, one key here. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, we're making quota as long as we fucking live here, which is not necessarily <laughs> uh, a guarantee. There's that whole area. There wasn't more here, right? Just making sure. I just killed the spider in here. Yeah, mines don't trigger for monster, but they trigger for you. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, if you walk into a mine, then you explode. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I guess right wall strats here. Or just go straight to this. Oh, man. Oh, uh, this could be good. Never mind, it's fucking ass. Hyper ass right now. Can I get a big room? That's, I guess, a big room. Um, I'll leave that there as like a little breadcrumb. There's usually something in here, right? I can find my way back, right? Can I? Oh god. Is that an item? It was still very early, right? I just hope it's not like a bracken or a coil head now, because then I'm gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. I guess I could kite into a room and close the door. That's a freaking kettle, man! Can I walk on this? Can you walk on that? I don't know if you can. I don't think- I know you can walk on the big ones, but I don't think you can walk on the small ones. I'm not gonna risk that right now. I'll risk it when I'm like... Quota freaking one or something. You can, but risky. Oh, come on. Wait, I have a key though. Fire exit! Wait, that's huge. Wait, then we just... We don't even have to take shit back. We can just stay here. Okay, then I want that... Uh, thing back. Okay, and up here we can check. Don't you blast me with a turret, please. Okay, there's just nothing here. Try it. I just said I would if it wasn't for like one death right now means we're we lose. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll already check that. I didn't check back here, right? Is this is a oh god, nothing back there. There's a door. This is all relatively good spawn close to the fire exit. Like a fire exit position can make or break a run. Okay, that is, this is getting a little tricky. I might be going out a little... Oh, nice, jar of pickles. Okay, that's already a full or full inventory. So I guess I'll take this with me and just go out the fire escape and then start bringing stuff back already. Because if I were to stay out a little longer right now, I think it's going to get laid too soon. Like, as long as I bring this into the map... Um, or bring this into the ship, then I can still continue. Because if I die then, I it counts the loot that you already brought into the ship for that mission. I haven't seen a coil head, which is nice. For the coin flips, I mean. So that could, then we'll probably keep enough to stay alive. Oh, go. this is nice. Did I leave anything around? It was over here, right? Dude, Titan has been 
Like, is this experimentation I'm on right now? <laughs> Where are the monsters? Oh, fuck. I went the wrong way. God damn it. It was earlier. Wasn't there a giant light source? Was there? Okay. Um. This way, right? We're gonna... No! That you fucking bitch! You ruined it! You piece of shit! Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. No! Dude, why are you already here, man? Why? Can I even... I beat you over. I think I drop it too early. I thought he was fucking down all the way. No, <laughs> I could have totally made that. Wait, he was on my ass? Wait, I thought he was at the bottom of the stairs, dude. Did he? Oh, was he up on the stairs? Wait, <laughs> where did he come from? Oh, there was one up and one was down. Okay, at least I brought him a little bit, but I think that was probably... I should have just left, but fuck. Okay, so really don't stay. Man, Titan is brutal when it comes to staying out late. Okay, we still have another day, though, uh, so we can totally recover this. Um, but that was a very annoying situation. Okay, let's spot... But we're still on Titan, unless Titan is eclipsed, by the way. Okay, this is fine. Uh, that was definitely not my brightest move, though. Just don't, just leave early. I also forgot it was foggy. I was like, where's the fucking ship, dude? <laughs> where do I go? Okay, land me. Dang it. Fuck. Um... Oh, easy peasy, man. We'll be fine. How do I... I need to go further to the end of the ladder. Because I keep missing the very end. Dang it. That was just greed. That was just pure... Undiluted greed right there. I saw the money. I was like, if I can make this somehow without dying... If there wasn't a fucking giant, I would have done that as super slow. But I was like, there's a giant. I gotta go at least a little fast. What the hell? There's a flashlight there. <laughs> I think the items... I don't know if that's one of the mods. I think it's gotta be one of the mods. But the, f the, the flashlights and shovels just lay around on the map after you die. Just kind of nice. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave this here. Did I charge? Oh yeah, because I got a new one. Alright, let's freaking do this. Oh, baby. Don't cur oh, old phone. There's plastic fish. And toothpaste, wait a minute, let's go. I'll take all this shit. Thank you very much. We should do this early. Uh. Oops, take that. 
that the lady? I hope not. Otherwise, I guess I'm dead. Phone. Is that there for a sec? Because we need to check. No, oh, there's nothing down there. Nothing else. That's all right. This is already a lot. Can you hear the screams? Talk to me. E binds are coming next up. Let's go. Is this a near activity there? Oh, uh, floating key. Magic. Uh, there's a large axe. Is that in a, mo a golden cup? Always be scanning. I, I broke rule. I saw, I saw loot. I was like, oh, give me the loot. Is that an item? No. I'm gonna go back first. Stay at the entrance. The axle. Nothing down here. Maybe in this room. This room is massive. that sound there's so many things here fuck off um there's so many items here wait this is really fucking good this is really fucking bad fuck i was doing so good you piece of shit where am i oh no i need to go through the server room wait oh god why are you walking to me Am I in the... I need to go up the stairs, I think. No, it's there. Wait, we can actually still do this. If there's no third partying going on, we can totally go back there. I'm just gonna leave the shovel, though, because that... I mean, maybe I need this, because there was so much more there. I'm going back in. I don't give a shit. You think I'm scared? I'm not scared. You're scared. Oh, there's an item. I just leave that there, I guess. I came from the server room, right? Is this even the server? This is not the server room. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, whoopsie daisy. What just came out of the vent? <sighs> okay. Your activity detected is fine. We just go straight back, right? Or is that... This is the way, right? No? Server room, yes. Fuck you, man. There was something that I dropped next to the... Oh, God. Yeah, here. Something that's still in there. I'm so fucking pants, dude. I need to go around this, because there was stuff in here. Yeah, plastic fish. Anything else? My brother in Christ, I'm looking straight at you, man. Chill. Where's the fucking door? Where's the fucking door? This way? Okay, pick that up. Pick up the axle. And we go. We need to go back through the server room. Oh no, it's a fucking thumper. I need to go down, right? I need to go up. Why is this not the exit? Oh, baby, let's go. Holy fuck. All right. Nice. That was not too bad, I would say. Nice. That was very scary, though. Fuck that. Okay, we gotta go fast because the monsters are coming out soon. And they're all tiny items. I fucking hate having to deal with that <laughs> by myself. <laughs> that shit is scary. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do this correct this time so we save our, save some time. Uh, so we go 
boom, and then we go all the way to the end of it. Because I keep doing that wrong. Actually, like, all the way to the end. It's gotta be it, right? Maybe I need to do it more to the left there. What? Fucking dickhead. Okay, don't get too close. There we go. Place it straight? I've seen literally like everyone that does this strat place it at like a slight angle. Uh, I'm just gonna take this down the long way. Okay, the monsters are coming out though. Fuck, I should have done this faster. I need to go out like a little earlier. Almost. Up. Okay, they're still fine though. I don't think there's anyone. Let's go! Okay, that was that was totally acceptable. Not the cleanest, but we did it all the same. Okay, uh, get me the hell out of here. How much did we get? We got quite a bit, right? There's still a lot in there, but I did I did pretty well, I think. Especially considering I had to deal with the fucking <laughs> cool head the whole time. We could maybe go back up and like try to go in um, into a fire escape if I didn't have quota there, but I totally had quota. I didn't forget anything. Right, did I? I felt like I had more, but I guess I was a little close. Oh boy. Is that a B grade? That's gotta be B still. No way. Dude, your heart goes pumping. <laughs> In, like, this game sometimes. Some some of those moments are are wild. Just have to avoid a coil head for the entire game. <clears throat> Okay, uh, we bring everything. I'm just gonna sell it all because it's, I mean, it's a little over quota, but if we sell everything, we'll for sure have enough to go to. I guess we could keep like one item, maybe. Like, let's see, anything, maybe the robot, the robot, even though I hate it, but it's like, how much is it? I can't see. It's 80? 80 plus like 60. We'll keep the robot and the toothpaste and we'll sell everything else. You try to solve the Rubik's Cube? I wish. You can't. That would be cool, though. <laughs> That'd be so stupid if you could. I really hope we get to go back to Lightning again. This game is giving me a huge headache. Because you gotta be ten so long. Yeah, if you could actually, you know, that would be sick, man. If you could pop up like a Rubik's cube mini game, and you would have to solve an actual Rubik's cube, to, and then it would sell for twice as much. That'd be such a funny mechanic. There'll just be one guy on the ship solving all the Rubik's cubes. <laughs> Alrighty, open. Oh, oh my god, immediately. Oh, it's getting mad. So, I think it's three stages. First, it opens, then it growls, and then if you still make noise, it does tentacles. Uh, you can't be far enough away to not get killed by the tentacles. Uh, I don't know if this is enough. This is exactly enough. 508 out of 504. Uh, so we have two items here, which hopefully we're not going to lose those by dying. But that means we already got 100 for the next quota, which is kind of what you got to start doing at this point. Uh, like, if you have enough, which we do... Oh, no, we don't have enough. Never mind. We have to sell this. I, I, didn't, I thought we had enough to go to Titan, but we don't. All right, we're going to have to sell this. 
Open the door. Uh, because you need to have at least enough to go to Titan, otherwise you're in big trouble. So that would have almost been a disaster if I didn't check that. So you gotta always gotta... It's a Titan tax. Every single um, quota, you need to get 700 at least uh, to be able to, to get to Titan. Otherwise, you're gonna have a way harder time going to the next quota. Because um, Titan is just so damn good. Like, for money. Like, one round on Titan can solve... One round on Titan can be your entire quota. If you play it perfectly or play it well i mean especially if you have a larger team but even when there's like i think especially with a solo titan is even more important because the distances are just so short uh we got si six overtime bonus lol next squad is gonna be 700 so now they're getting uh quite high we can go to titan we just have to make sure that we go back on time because it is uh, foggy, so we don't get have to avoid a bunch of monsters while uh, while it's foggy. So we just check both fire entrance and starter or normal entrance. Yeah, 7-Eleven. I do want to get good at using a... Um, oh, we need to take this again. I do want to sort of get, get good at using... A jetpack as well. That's gonna be like another thing to learn down the line. I think that is better when you're with a group though, because you're just the quotas are so tight when you play solo. If you want to get to like that 1300 quota, which I think I managed to get to, I think 900 was like the last quota I did, and then the next quota was 1300, and then I couldn't couldn't get it anymore. It's uh, hard. How is guaranteed giant food? Okay, there's stuff there immediately. Oh, baby. This room right at the entrance. Does it have anything? What? I mean, it has stuff, but that could have definitely been better. Ducky. Quack. The difference. The RNG on that room, man. Full head guarantee. Please, no. There's a hairbrush too. Too shabby. I mean, this is pretty shabby actually. <laughs> that shit stinks, but uh, up that side. Yeah, brackets and coil heads. About this here as well. Okay, check the other rooms that are close by before we. Nice, another thing. Ooh, another big room. These big rooms close to the entrance are ap insanely good. Because of all this. Nice. I'm going back here. I can't take that right now. This is amazing. This is a insanely good spawn. Especially because Titan is like so big to the point that it kind of like makes it easier. Because it is so large that the monsters spawn like randomly all over the place. And they're gonna like be so far away from you on average because the place is huge. Um, you're not going to run into them all the time. Um, did that already. Fucking hell, man. Just, I, I was telling you, like a good, good quota day or a one good day on Titan can save your entire quota. It's crazy. I'm not going to, oh, there's stuff like this. Big bolt. Shouldn't really go in here too much, but I'm just quickly checking this room here. Okay, it just keeps going. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna go fire escape. Um, because I want to try and stay as uber safe as possible. Why is there creepy noises? You kind of get into the habit of looking to the side while going into the fire escape, so... A coil head can't just implode my ass. Oh, this is a shit spawn. Fuck! Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're gonna take just what we have. It was already so much anyway. Uh, fuck that lady. Uh, no thank you. Cause you only- I think you get like a- She shows up like a few times and then she kills you. In solo, it's just like an instant leave. I mean, not necessarily instant leave. But you gotta, you gotta get your evacuation plan ready 
when she shows up. It's just really dangerous. Because she only targets you. Because usually in multiplayer, it's kind of like a, like a one by one. She tries killing people. Um, but not when you're solo. Okay, I might mess this up again, whatever. Uh, that is pretty much almost straight. We go all the way to the end. It's still not all the way to the end. Boom, 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 boom. What ghost type is she? I don't know. I don't want to find out. <clears throat> Let us go. Okay, at least we're early enough to the point where there shouldn't be... I hope that was correct. There shouldn't be any enemies yet. I did get killed at 1 p.m. one time by a giant at the top of the stairs. I know I keep... Oh my god. Wait, that was... Ba what the fuck? Dude, this is like... It's like a... Some of it got dropped correctly. Some of it didn't. Ow. I don't know. Fine. Why does it sound... There's like this sound coming from the... Ship that sounds like a dog running around. You hear it? It baits me all the time into thinking that there's dogs at the ship when there actually isn't. Maybe just place it straight. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, she's back. Run! Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. I think we got most. Fucking go! Oh, God. Okay, I don't know if that was... I mean, that has to be... Like, 400, what we had before. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's a good first trip. Not as good as that one... One we had earlier, where we had 500 on the first trip, but still. That was also... We had the girl right away. So, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, 500. A B. B solo on Titan is my, is my go-to now. Which, by the way, your ranking points are purely based on your great at the end i think so if you want to get farm ranking points you should go to like experimentation over and over again and just try and get as much as possible every time because it'll it'll actually give you more ranking points than going to titan which is kind of silly but it is what it is uh it doesn't have a rank it has like you have a rank it doesn't mean anything but yeah there's a rank a rank doesn't do anything Oh my god, 5,000! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Okay, this is good, 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 good. Um, I'm going way too far with the fuck. Let's go. Yeah, it's like a level. Like a character level. It's for introducing new players. I mean, I guess it gives them, like, lots of dopamine early. Gives you a reason to go to the smaller maps, I guess. I mean, you can get high ranks on this. So we're going to just place it straight this time. We'll try. All right, let's see. We're going to be lucky. Even with high loot, you can just get a nice brass belt. Uh, anything down there? Ooh, maybe. Uh, apparatus room? Yes. Okay, dude. Uh... I don't think we do this yet. That would just make everything fucking immediately dark and annoying. Oh, there's a hairbrush stuff. Yeah, we leave that there for now. I love that there's just more loot density on, on Titan. Like, you'll just walk around and you'll just, like, find stuff all the time rather than it being... So, like, you either find a room that spawns loot or you're just running around in nothing. <laughs> Sometimes a, a big item in here. Um, yes, we can go around. That's nice. I don't have to jump at least. Um, here, maybe, please. I don't want to go into the tunnel network. I'll take the fire escape first. Okay, this is fucking stupid. There's... And there should be so much loot, though. We're, go we're gonna potentially come back here because it's not that far. But I just want to visit 
uh, the fire escape first. If this spawns me right into like a bunch of loot, that is just faster. Oh God, what the fuck? What is with the FPS, man? Hello? And it's good again. What is that? That is so random. Rip flint frames outside. Oh, baby. Air dry. Anything around the corner? Oh, is that it? Right, I, I'm just bringing this out because I don't want it to be in there and be stolen. Be oinked. Oh, baby. Let's go. And there's two closets. Which is good. I thought I heard a monster. Nah, I see. This is why these are so insane. <laughs> that terrifying noise. Amazing. Boom, boom, boom. And we can take the... Yeah, we're, we're a hoarding bug right now. Take the painting as well. Is there anything adjacent to this? Way up. Wait, it leads to more of this. Ah! Fuck. Okay, we can grab this shovel though. Wait, or we just... No, oh, I want to get the shovel. I walked a little bit. Ah, fuck. I'll lose my health, I guess. I don't want to die to fall damage, so we're just gonna... We're gonna just wait it out. I can't find my shovel. I, sh I, sh I was just running up. Unlucky. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, where did I walk to? Oh, I walked this way. Unlucky. Okay, why FPS do this to me? Um, I love how many people have no idea how solo game, solo play works. It's something you figure out so quickly, too. That, like, the snare bugs don't kill you when you play solo. You're just playing solo once and walking into them. My god, what is this FPS, dude? <laughs> My brother in Christ. Holy shit. So bad. I don't know why this happens. It's very annoying. Yeah, I don't know. It is the, it's like obviously some memory leak or something that happens just randomly. I don't know, whatever. Come on, fix itself, please. Is the snare bug here still? The snare bug will not kill me still, even if it grabs me now. Oh, this is open. I wanna check this, but what the fuck? <laughs> No, she's back. Fuck you. She's also in the way. I need to go. That's so annoying. Okay. Um, this is a total disaster. Frame drops, everything, enemies everywhere. I am just gonna grab this shit and go. We need to go back. We need to go back. Uh, oh my god. Wait. I think I'm. I think I'm leaving my shovel. Do I have enough to buy a shovel? I sure hope I do. Um, cause I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. I have an extra. I can go here now. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. No! No, she's already attacking again. Fuck. But she's upstairs, though. Okay, this is really bad, but we can leave. Um, man. This is a whole new challenge. The one FPS challenge. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. This is ridiculous. And now outside- No, outside is even worse. What is happening, man? What is going on? I, d I think I'm being super greedy, by the way. Uh, oh no, she's showing up so many times. I think I'm dead. Oh god. Why is my FPS this ass, brother? What the fuck, dude? I might have to reboot the game. There might just be a memory leak. Alright, we're gonna just speedrun this and hopefully not die. Uh... I'm gonna, if I die because of lag, I'm gonna ult the poor brother. <laughs> fuck this shit. Holy fuck. What is this? It's insane. I'm sorry for the, for it looking like ass. It looks like ass for me as well. It's just the way the game is right now. Okay. Oh god, there's giants and stuff? This 
fuck? Oh, brother. It's insanely annoying. Go. Can I jump this? Ow. The fuck, dude. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, uh, fuck me. Dude, that is so... Um, f fuck you. Fuck you. Just, like, fucking restart me. Like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> the Steam stream also died? That is... I'm not accepting that. That is insanely dumb. Just reload me. What is that fucking lag, dude? Holy crap. <laughs> stream is fine. It was just a game dying? Yeah, holy man. Okay, can we play? Is this gonna be better now? That was such a good loot too. Man, I wish I could get that out of there. That would have been so good. Okay, we're still fine, day 17. Hopefully we'll be okay now. Can we can we play? Oh baby, the lag is gone. Okay. Now we keep our stuff, right? Yeah, we keep our stuff. We still on day two. Uh that was very strange. I don't know what that was. Can we still go to Titan or did that get fucked up? Okay. Just reset that mission. I don't know. The lag just got so insane. Like it was bad outside and then inside it got even worse. I don't know why that happened. Like I've never seen it be that bad. That was like five FPS or something. Um like, do we need the scan, though? Oh, I mean, we don't need the scan. Let's just go. We got a speed run. That was fucked. Yeah, you can, uh... You can reload if you die. I mean, there, it was just, like... <laughs> there was just an insane memory leak. But I've seen a lot of people just, like, that are high quota, that are only high quota because they just cheese it every time. I feel like there, it was totally warranted, though. At least in my opinion. Let's see. All right, can we get lucky with the loot? We had so much loot last time. Oh my God! What is this, dude? I'm not even, I fucking just entered the place. Okay, this is so much worse. Well, rest in peace. That was unlucky. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we can grab at least some of this though. Wait a minute, we can grab some of this and just leave immediately. It is what it is. Damn, I wish we could have just like done that round properly. Uh, I'm gonna leave all my stuff out here. I don't care. Just grab as much stuff out of this as possible. And get the hell out. Go, 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 cause she is not gonna, she's not never gonna go away. Painting, golden cup, wait. Uh, this is totally fine. This is probably as good of a spawn we could get with this bad monster RNG. I mean, it also, Depends on how aggressive she is. Sometimes she just shows up once and then she kind of leaves after that, but other times she just like spams you. Um, I think, do we go with this? This is only, I mean, that's 400. Do I quit? I guess I quickly check this. Okay, red soda. Another one. Uh, I think now we gotta go. It's just like, otherwise we're just gonna get exploded by the lady. Alright, well, that was the shortest Titan run of all time. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Ugh. Goddamn. Unlucky lady. We saw another soda. It's fine. Just don't... We, we need to not be greedy, because if we die, we not only lose this right here, we lose the stuff on the ship as well, and we have one more day. Um, let's see if we can do this properly, though. So all the way at the end again. We gotta figure this out. That is pretty much like further. I'm gonna get very nervous. Uh, I'm just gonna place drop one more. Okay. I'm not gonna do a quick fire exit check. This is just 
It will be greedy. Alright, go, go, go. She is chill for like a, a few times, but once she shows up a third time, I think she kills you. And there's like, I mean, you can outrun her, but if she even touches you, goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. Did I, didn't I drop the shovel down? I swear I dropped the shovel down. Otherwise, I guess we'll buy another one. Yeah, I dropped it. Okay. See, it actually worked this time, by the way. I did it properly. I got so distracted by the lady that I almost forget. But yeah, we did it. So you just kind of put it straight and then you drop it right at the end and you get all the stuff here immediately. Look how insane that is, dude. <laughs> that is so good. Being able to drop items. Oh yeah, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Don't do it, lady. Okay, so that is the second time. I think third time she kills you. I'm out. That was totally fine. 900? Easy peasy. Let's go, man. That was sick. For as, for as bad as that, as that spawn was, I didn't know. I don't know how much I uh, potentially could have gotten there. So all we need to do now, and this is easier said than done, is not die on the last day. Um, wait, right? Should have enough. We had 800 or something. Yeah, 890. Easy peasy. Uh, can we go back to Titan? We can, as long as we keep it short. Because Foggy gets real annoying later. Yeah, this girl has not been freaking leaving me alone, man. It's actually been mainly girl. Like, no, not many jesters. Not many... Uh, let's scan. Not many coil heads. There was one coil head game. 27? Really? That's so freaking ass. But whatever. Um... It's mostly just been the girl who, like, puts an immediate time limit on your game. Like, I know you can get on railings or something to, like, avoid her, but what are you gonna do? Just sit on the railing the whole time? It's not like multiplayer, where as long as you are targeted by the girl, no one else is having to deal with her. If you play solo, the whole team has to deal with her, because I'm the whole fucking team. <laughs> Please don't be in here again. I swear to God. Okay, we chill. Can we get some loot, Axel? Uh, just one single thing. I'll take it, I guess. Wait, yeah, there is. I really like that they did that, though. Like, you can't avoid the snare fleas if you have a shovel. But I like that they didn't make them insta-kill in single player. That would just make... Like, so they he did think about the solo experience. Like, I still think... That the solo experience, at least vanilla, oh my god, there's so much stuff here, is very bad. Um, let's go. Alright, I'll take all this back. There could be more there, but I'm taking this out first. Because there was only 2,700. If we can get... Um, so I'll leave this here real quick. Wait, did we go up? power is off in this area by the way you can find a breaker box and sometimes the power starts off in areas so you're gonna have to turn it on when you find the breaker box you can check if anything is turned off so you can turn on the lights it's kind of cool wait did i just drop my shovel i think i just dropped my shovel Oops. <laughs> yes not that we've really been using it we haven't had the monster spawn that you need the shovel for like, there hasn't been many thumpers, hasn't been many spiders. There were a few here and there. And, like, the few times that we did see them would have been a game chain. Like, the, the game would have been... What? So different. Ah! Alright, well, uh... <laughs> so much for... <laughs> So much for getting the next quota, huh? <laughs> Fuck, I should have known when I heard a door smack that it was the Bracken. Oh, damn, he was hiding in a corner there? Dude, what a piece of shit. Alrighty, well, man. That's the different, like, that's a perfect example of why there were, like, people commenting on my videos, like, how dumb do you have to be to say, um, I don't think we have enough. Wait, huh? Oh my god, we almost had it, dude. We almost had such good RNG that we we kept enough to, to get it. 
Uh, but there were people that were saying, well, if you're gonna use cheating mods like this, you, uh, might as well just, uh, like, <laughs> you cheater. Like, my brother in Christ, right there, if I was in a team of four people, this would have been the easiest shit of all time. But because I'm solo, you instantly lose. Like, a single death basically means instantly losing. All right, well, time to... Uh, I'm gonna be a good asset to the company, and I'm gonna sell my items before I get vented into outer space. <laughs> yeah, there's already lethal company purists out there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, send me that. Nah, we don't have another day. It's day zero. I wish it was like that, though. I mean, I guess it would make the game very different. Dude, what if they were buying at 120 right now? I would have actually won. I don't think that's actually a thing that can happen. Dude, what the fuck, man? There were so many items, too. That is so annoying. Ripperoni. Dude, look at this great asset right here. What is in my locker? Just stuff. The use. Nothing. Is it an inhalant in there? <laughs> oh boy. There you go, sir. Eat up, because it's gonna be your last meal from me, because I'm not gonna be here anymore. Can we get a jetpack so we can try a bit of flying? Because I want to practice flying with the jetpack. I think we, yeah, we should, wait, did it already count it? Don't tell me this is the money I have. This is, oh my God, you piece of crap. Really? I miss, is it on sale? Hey, it's on sale, wait, 70% off, dude? Holy shit, let's go. The game is the game is throwing me a bone. Can we uh, get something fun? Romantic table, record player. Can we go out? Uh, if you've never seen the television, by the way, let me show you. Um, this is actually I kind of like this part of the game where you're just like already lost. Oh wait, I need to open it. Uh, and you just like spend all your money to see some fun stuff. The television is very important. Otherwise, you'll never know what to do in a situation where someone hits someone gets hit by a snare flea. It's it's a public service announcement. And I yes. All right, you want to watch television with me? Let's put it on the table. Right there. <laughs> right there. No more lever. Instead, ask the crew member the following. Wait. Is the entity being aggressive? Are you injured? Do you need assistance? If the answer to all of these questions is yes, you begin your self-defense measures. If the crew member is stressed, strike a question like, How was your day? Thank you for your cooperation and happy travels. How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. What a joke. What even is this? It's just like a... a like an assurance remix or something, and then there's a cat, a random cat. Did you go oh, you just turn it off and on. I can't change this channel. Is there like, if you have a remote, can you turn off and on the television? Probably, right? If an entity has come in contact with a crew member, please refrain from immediate self-defense. No, 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 we already know that. Okay, and now we go. So jazz. <laughs> uh, nothing else, loud horn. But did you know you can? Did you know you can hear the loud horn on anywhere, anywhere on the planet? Kind of sick. Uh, stun grenade. Whatever. Nothing else matters. Let's fly. Let's go fly, baby. So you have to like move around with W. And you're like, oh wait, whoa, that's wait. Look at this. If you jump, wait, that's insane knowledge. So if you click the button, you start up slowly and you start flying. If you Jump and click, you immediately start flying. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, that is actually like a game changer. I had no idea that's how it worked. Whee! Oh god. Ow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 
So you can both use your mouse and WASD. Man, feathering this shit is hard. Oh. <laughs> okay. I might need a little more training before I fly the jetpack. <laughs> because I don't think I'm cut out for that yet. <laughs> Fucking the jazz, dude. God damn it, man! That wasn't. We're gonna we're gonna get good at this where we can go crazy solo. I'm telling you though, brackens are always gonna be the end of me. We'll go out complete jazz mode. As you have not met the prophet Cole, I got this record player though. Welcome to our disciplinary process. Ah oh, fuck! Do you know you? Oh come on! Oh my! I'm good. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, I love this game though. That's fun. Like it, it, it's way more brutal solo, but it's still a great time. And you can like actually, I think it's better for learning because multiplayer kind of gets chaotic, uh, like very quickly. We still died four times or something. Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for. Um, I'm gonna not turn it off. I can't. People are gonna hate me if I turn it off. Uh, that's gonna be it for that solo video. We're gonna be doing more solo in the future, Welcome obviously. To your first day um, job. I would this highly recommend uh, to get a few mods if you want to, like, go solo. You can do it without mods if you want to be a purist about it. I've just accepted this as, like, the baseline to the baseline for solo. One extra inventory slot, being able to turn off and on your flashlight by pressing F. Let's listen. We trust you will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset to the company. Great, 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 great asset. Um, make, having an extra inventory slot, being able to turn off and on your flashlight by pressing F, like that one especially, that that's not in the base game, is just insanely annoying. Uh, the other thing I just have for quality of life is like the drop pot arrives faster because otherwise you're waiting for that all the time, which is just annoying. Um, it's technically also better because you don't waste a bunch of time in your day, but I mostly just do it because I don't like waiting there on like a live stream, just sitting there waiting for the pod to drop. Um, and then the other thing is the the only losing half your items it saved us like one time today uh, and almost saved us another time at the end there uh, because without that like one death is just immediate it's immediately over and now at least you can like take some risks and actually die and then still potentially save it if you just played really well before so yeah i just think these changes are more fair just they're just like a way to make the the game balance so i would highly recommend checking them out if you want to have more fun solo or if you want to just get into playing solo but thank you guys so much for watching over on youtube if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join i love the games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash in support click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye Alrighty.